Yeah. We'll do today the Wonder Boy in Monsterland tutorial of just any percent. Like a short break and then I will come back to the 100% tutorial. The route is almost the same. It's just a little bit collecting more money in uh, 100%. So, yeah. I will try to explain um, some basic stuff in every screen. Uh, so, I will make always a save state for every round. Now we can. Uh, Go in every round for um, what is very important, like damage boost, what you have to bonk, and uh, what is important. And it starts with round one, finishes with round twelve. Round twelve is actually the longest one and also the hardest one. So yeah, I will try to explain everything what is important for that run. Damage boosting points and all this stuff. So, yeah, the first thing what I have to mention in this game is that you are having very long iframes and because of these very very long iframes you can really use them into your advantage to pass parts and don't get any, any more extra damage. Uh, you can also see that already in the demo when he's like getting the hit from the first snake that you have a really long flickering situation. And you will use that definitely in the whole run to your advantage. Um, another thing what I have to mention is that um, if you... There are like two ways of damage boost. One damage boost is enemies and the other damage boost is like spikes for example. Um, there's also spikes on the ground. So for enemies, if you are hitting them in front or um, before the middle, you always get damage to the left. When you are getting hit kind of the middle or behind of them, you get damage to the right. And in that case, uh, we are using the damage boost always jumping on the enemies at the middle, so we get the most distance, then uh, like damaging from the front or trying to kill them. Uh, the spikes are a little bit different because they are always completely existent, like there's no front and back. In the spikes you just have to turn around watching the left, so you get the damage boost to the right. Because the game is always putting you into the direction you don't want, and when you are just exactly before touching the spikes, turn left watching, you get the correct damage boost, what you want, so you get the damage and you can continue in the direction you're heading. Uh, the losing of damage boosting is really short, so you almost don't lose any speed of the normal one. Like when you're using the damage boost, you have a, like a frame situation where you are not going more because you get a speed up from the damage and then uh, you have like a stop because you fall down and then you can continue in the direction. Another thing what I have to mention is um, especially in the any percent and hundred percent it's important um, that every time you get a certain amount of points you get a new heart. What we want to not lose time is that we are having not like that, that we get the next heart in the screen when we are playing and not when we are reaching the end. Why? Because when we are getting it in the screen we are not losing any time. <clears throat> this game functions like that. Every time when you are beating a round you, um, your, your hearts, how, how much you ever have, get counted down and then count it up again. So what you always want to do is you want to have really low HP, um, like even only 25% of one heart, so you have a really short amount that is going away and going up. Uh, every time when you are beating a boss you get an extra heart, every time when you are reaching the end of the level of the round you get an extra heart again. So most of the case, if you are just entering the door with 
uh, like entering the boss with 25% uh, of a heart, you can get up until two hearts and a little bit. So yeah, to get a real speedrun is like you have to play really risky. In the beginning, I always uh, recommend to play a little bit more safer to have some hearts, uh, not watching so much about that end screen situation. But if you get really consistent to the game, I recommend uh, to always play with the lowest health, which is what is possible. I always will try to mention in every round what is like the the most of the lowest what you can have without having any problem. Also screen one, like round one and round two, um, are kind of connected connected because you get really quickly the 30,000 points, uh, but you don't want that they are, you reach them before uh, you are reaching the third round. So you get it during the third round, what is important, because then you have one more heart and then you can use another damage boost and stuff like that. So especially for the any percent, it is very important just to know two very important new hearts, like mostly you will not even reach the third one. It is 30,000 and 100,000. So these two you have to actually watch out. And after that you normally, if you play really fast, you will not reach the 200,000 in your any percent run before beating the last dragons, what is not important anymore. Um, so yeah, I would just um, start the game and uh, do a safe state directly in the beginning. And then we go round by round. The round uh, description is always the boss what we are fighting. Except uh, like there's an one round when we are just entering the ice pyramid. So you can copy my uh, names or you can just use your own names, doesn't even matter. So yeah, there are some bosses you have to beat to get a key and some bosses you... Uh, the, the bosses where you get a key are having normal doors and then you have like red doors with the symbol of uh, death on it. Um, these guys you only have to beat and then you just uh, don't need even a key because that's the end of the level of the round. This run is very short. Um, it looks easy, but it's actually really unforgiving because you only have one refilling potion. There is no continue. So if you are using your refilling potion and you are then dying, you are losing your run and you have to start again from the beginning. So since we are playing with really low armor the whole run, mostly until we are getting, I think, round 7 or round 8, I'm not sure. Um, since we are like really playing on really low um, armor is super risky. So if you want to play a little bit safer with a little bit more hearts, like not getting every damage boost what I'm showing, it's completely fine in the beginning. Just get used to it and um, the rest is up to you. What I also have to mention um, is that when you are reaching the end with full hearts, you are getting an extra melody and 10,000 points and um, the extra melody is like two seconds long so you would say uh, you would lose even more time if you would even reach the full HP in the end like I will show you everything right now so let us just uh, start that here right now I would just uh, make right now a safe state here and you see us as Wonder Boy and you see uh, let me just I don't, I don't remember, it was just, ah yeah, it was just this, yeah, I just had to press this. Okay, so I saved it. So you see in the right top, you see uh, what kind of weapon you have, you see a clock, uh, you see gold, and you see your life, and then left you see your score. If you would press start, you would, um, I think you would pause. Yeah, well, we don't have right now the pause here, because I, we don't have anything, I think. Anyway, so. There are secret golds here in this uh, area, and we want to have 40 gold uh, in the next screen so we can buy chips. So every gold what you find, what is a coin, in the trees or whatever, you get between 1 and 4 gold. So here is 1, and you get like 4, and it's always random. 
Uh, every time when the clock is passing, the, the time clock, you are losing a heart. So be fast enough so you don't lose any heart. Here you just go inside and this woman is talking with you. And to skip that fast, you just press button 1 and button 2 quickly. So in that case, you are just not reading this. It's for casual, it's nice, but you want to pop it out. Uh, I just let it go like this, steep, this uh, speed, and then we do one run with real speed. So I just show everything right now. So you get right now, now you can press start. You get right now the information what you have. You have a reveal potion, you get a sword, and you have a armor, what you had before. And um, yeah, this um, pause menu you will actually never look for because it's not even necessary. It's just for casual what you have. Like you can see if you have still the gauntlet or whatever. Like you have a key. It's just a status, like whatever. But you don't even need that. Um, it's just that I wanted to show you that it's existent. So what you're doing right now is uh, you go here on the top and then there are three coins. And you just collect them. We have now 10 gold. Then you kill that snake. The next snake. There are two ways here for that. The one way is just falling down, and the other way is just jumping down because jumping in this um, game is faster than um, flying down. So here's another gold bag. You can actually collect it here. This gold bag has between. Uh, 11 and 17 gold. The snakes can um, spawn between 1 and 6 gold. These, yellows, um, these yellow snakes can spawn between 3 and 8 gold and a heart. They need 3 hits, but actually if we are playing fast we don't even kill them, we use them as a damage boost. And yeah, then here is the boss. You can collect that sand clock you don't even need, because it's a very short one. And here's the boss. It's the ghost and you just jump and hit them and you can see that red ball on his side and when you are um, hitting him he's getting like lower HP and um, when he had, when the when the enemies the bosses have like red balls in the end uh, one more hit is needed until they head. and here if you need is another secret uh, heart and yeah you can have these snakes. So this is the level in total and I just um, go back to the beginning what was uh, this one yeah. so let's just be here in the beginning so the fastest way is just collecting here then mashing the buttons so you can pass go up here collect the hearts in a speedway Kill that snake, kill the next snake, watch out your gold, collecting here the bag, use that guy as a damage boost, so you're up here, collect that, we had 31, we want 40, because we need 80 gold for the boots, and um, if you're low on money, you can actually kill that guy here, but slower, or you just damage boost him, and you're in the end. And this is the fastest way how to play that round. So yeah, this is the fastest way. This uh, with the gold is always RNG is random, so you just have to collect whatever it is. I mostly recommend just to go to reset if you're uh, like under 70 gold for sure, and if you're like around 70 you also should reset actually. And this looks much better right now as you can see, we have 38. Uh, in the next screen, in round 2, there is uh, there are two mushrooms you can kill on the way to the door. So um, there are three ways I can explain you. 78, you actually only need to kill one mushroom. And this is the first round. Very easy. Very basic, no big problem. And like I said, the gold is RNG from the enemies. And here you have like two mushrooms. And uh, if you already reached 80 gold, you can use actually a damage boost. Just go up here and just buy these shoes. If you don't have 80, of course, you're not getting them. 
So every time when you are not having 80 gold here, you have it's actually always a reset. Uh, you can also have like hidden coins if you really want to continue that run like in a marathon run. Here is one um, gold coin what you can have. Here is one gold gold coin, I think. I think there was one here. I'm not sure, but uh, um, here is one gold bag. That's for sure. And I think here is one gold coin also. You have to check out, but mostly in a speedrun you just want um, to have already 80 gold here. Um, I show you like again the the other one, like we are just doing that right now, and um, I will show you the three ways what you have to do in the next round. So yeah, it's just one between one and four of these coins. This is one between six, and there's also one between six. The gold back between 11 and uh, 17. You always use that as a damage boost, and from the money it's like 33. You have actually to kill both uh, mushrooms. You don't have to kill the yellow snakes, but if you really want to be safe, you can kill the first yellow snake and not this one, because you need the damage boost actually to have lower HP. So. Right now we have 73 and with 73 we need 7 more gold, so we are killing both, so we would have 80. And if you are not lucky, 77, it would be a reset or you would have to um, hope for 3 gold here, what I just got luckily. So yeah, um, there's like that, there are 3 ways, let me just make a save state then there. And then I'll show you. So the first round is actually clear, I guess. There is one gold in the in the tree. We talk with that woman. Then we are collecting these golds here. We are killing the two snakes. I just show you how you how it's just flying. It's much slower, so you always have to jump there. Here you use the damage boost. Kill that snake. 33. We need seven more gold. And then we are just killing that guy. I do it one more and hopefully we have a little bit more money in the end, so I don't have to always reset then. So yeah, damage boost and we are done. Let's do it again. Perhaps I even... So, what is very important also for later the heart at 30,000 points is actually that section here. Because it depends um, how much gold you have, like when you get the next heart. If you like get here in that screen already 40 gold, um, it's like um, you only use a damage boost. Like um, there are like three patterns what I have to recommend. One is killing both mushrooms because you have to. Right now I will kill both. Killing only one or killing no one and just directly use the damage boost. So I just save that right now here and then I will show up. Um, how that works. So there are three ways killing both mushrooms, killing one mushroom and using a damage boost in the beginning or directly using a damage boost and go up. It always depends how much money you have right now and also it uh, changes the situation with um, the points. So if you are having... let me just stay here and let's let them run around Perhaps I kill them so they're not getting annoyed. So if you have like, uh, if you kill both mushrooms, you um, actually have to do a damage boost later, what I will show. Uh, so you get the right amount of hearts. Um, if you have, like, if you kill only one mushroom, you will have uh, enough, so you don't have to do a damage boost later. And if you kill no mushroom in the end. You just use a damage boost, you don't actually also don't have to make an extra damage boost to get the right amount of hearts. I will show you that later. So yeah, these are guys always respawning three times and I think then they're gone, they're not coming anymore. It's just if you are pointing hunter then you can kill them again and get an extra treasure. You never get more than one time gold. There's nothing by the way in that tree. Not in every tree is something. So yeah. Uh, I show you the three ways right now. So first way, if you have like really low money, what is like between 71, 72 gold, 
73, I would even say 74, 75. You should always kill both mushrooms, so you have a chance to get 80 gold to buy, uh, to buy uh, the shoes. So the first one is like when you have like E74, uh, right now the chance, bring it higher. Then you go here inside, press one button, go, press uh, the one button one, and then button two again, so you get the shoes. This is the first way, and if you are killing both, you actually need to make a damage boost, I'll show you later. Um, there's a second way if you only kill one, because you have like 77, 76, 78, 79 gold. Uh, then you only have to kill one mushroom, so you would just uh, make this way, you just damage boost at that guy. Sorry, that was the wrong direction. Like I said, after you have to jump on behind them, then kill that guy and collect the money on the way up, and then just go inside and do the menuing. What is uh, press button two, press go right, press button one, and then two again to go out. And um, yeah, if you have enough money, like 80 already, you just use your damage boost and then go up directly and just uh, knock on the door and use uh, the inputs. So in uh, option number two and three what I was showing is uh, when you don't have to kill one or when you only kill one of these guys you have enough HP in the end uh, what you will then have closed. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you cannot wait forever here is that. So when you have like um, enough gold uh, just killing one or nobody, you will have enough uh, HP in the end, so you get the 30,000 gold in the end of the level. Uh, not in the end of the, so you do, you get then the 30,000 gold during the next round. What is very important because you want to get the next heart with 30,000 points during the level and not during the end time. Why? Because you not only get the heart, it's like a little bit slower, also that heart, what you just get, is not getting refilled. If you do it during the round, um, you get an extra heart, a full heart, so you can use that. But if you are getting that heart during the end credit part, like in the round end, uh, you just lose more time because you get an extra heart, so the counter is going even a little bit slower, and you don't even get the full refill in the end. Uh, for the next heart in 1000, it's a little bit luck based, depends how much you beat it, how much gold you got, and how much points you got, and stuff like that. But um, in that one, you can actually calculate that. So, like I said, there are three options you kill both mushrooms to get 80 gold, you kill one mushroom to get 80 gold, or you don't even kill a mushroom to get 80, because you already have 80 gold, was the best. And then you uh, will have enough. Uh, money let's say uh, well you will have enough points to get then like 30,000 in um, the round three doing that run so yeah um, since I have here low uh, money I will just kill both so I can also show the damage boost and like I said this is random when you, if you have 79 yeah it's always mostly a reset because it's very difficult to not knock on the door, get that coin, go up again, it's very slow actually. So like I said, it's completely random, the money drop, you know, you don't know what they will drop, it can drop everything. And now we have 80, so just collect that and just go. Now we are coming to the next part, so we are ignoring this guy here, and uh, we are ignoring this off. And what we are using is here, we are using a damage boost on this guy. So we jump on his arrow to pass him, you don't even have to kill him. Um, so yeah, there is a pattern. If you, um, if you are fast, like if you are having a fast part, you directly have to jump. In this way, when you have to kill both, you can use a damage boost extra there if you want at that mushroom. You just jump on the back of that arrow and then you are already passing him. When you have um, one bunk, like the beginning mushroom, and then kill the second one, um, the error is coming a little bit earlier, but still not a big problem. The biggest problem of the timing is when you have no mushroom, what you kill, then you directly have to make a jump from that ledge um, to 
like you have to make a real the long jump to get behind the arrow because the arrow is actually directly spawning in that place so when you land you get that arrow and every other one like uh, option number two and three like the, the ones when you kill mushrooms you have more time because you are using time every time when wonder boy is using the sword he's slowing down a little bit um, so when you're killing mushrooms you get more time with the arrow but of course the fastest way would be just passing the mushrooms and then jumping from the top platform on the behind on the arrow and just pass uh, that guy because of the long high frames so we are landing then here uh, it would look like that so i just show that in the case you just bonk this guy then you're just here knocking and then you're just running i mean i don't have the shoes right now so it doesn't matter and then you're just um, jumping from here and make the big jump and jump on that one it's kind of that one. i just want to show you right now because I don't have enough money, so I do it like that. So, up, 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 very fast, if you press it in the right way. And um, there are two ways. So, this is the one. Later, um, there will be a damage boost, what we are using, but it's very tricky. So, in the beginning, uh, if you have like killed both mushrooms, I recommend you... Uh, this way to bring your HP in the right position, what is two and a half hearts what you want. So instead of doing the damage boost what I show later, you can do that here. That damage boost, it's much safer. And then just use here the arrow and that's it. Because you have to make that uh, damage in any case to get the right uh, heart level, so you're not passing the 30,000 before entering round 3. Because you want an extra heart in the round, so you can damage boost again. Uh, you don't have to stop, but like this is pro strat, what we are talking right now. Um, the mushroom damage is only if you kill the other two mushrooms. Um, there's another way later, but it has very precise jumps, so I will show that. In any case, um, try just uh, everything out what you want, what I show right now. So. Um, let's do that again. Killing the guys, like I said, there's the way bonking and going up. When you have 80, then there's uh, bonking and the, killing the second one if you have like 76, I would say. So you can perhaps get enough money here with one if you want to play risky. It's a quick reset anyway, it's like you're losing only one minute, so you should do that. Or uh, the one what mostly you have to do, um, killing both and just... Um, yeah, use the arrow as a damage boost. If you bonk this mushroom, of course, you have more time. So, you're just here right now. And I just make a quick uh, save state here. So, you can actually jump from here from the top and then bonk the snake. You pass these two snakes and then you get the bonk from this uh, guy here. Um, safer way is, of course, just walking down and then jump on the snake, whatever you want. Uh, it's the same speed, I think. Uh, it's just handling it. We use all the damage boosts here to bring our HP down. So what you also can do is jump here and... That's wrong. I'm um, sorry. You can jump from here and there is a coin what you just can spawn. That's for swag if you want. And then you just go up here. Here spawns uh, a text what you can skip. And you are actually not going inside. So this is for the 100% quest I will show later. Uh, you just pass it by pressing a button and uh, yeah, you can use the jump button or the sword button to just pass that. It's the side quest what you actually have to do to get an extra item, but it's not required in any percent. Um, so you just can pass it and uh, you just have to know in the moment when you jump to that platform, you have to press a button so you directly uh, delete that text and continue your movement. So yeah, um, the beginning of that is always jump here, bonk that guy, pass that guy, get the bonk from this guy automatically, press here button. And here important thing is, um, if you are just uh, too fast here, this guy will go straight down. Um, what I always do is I press a little bit left 
when I fall down from that small platform there in the top. So he's bonking me from the behind and I get the right damage boost. If you're doing it wrong, he comes just straight down and you actually want his damage in the right way, in that case the right way. Every time when you're beating a boss, by the way, your clock is going up again. So this is like how you can do it. Just go here. I think it's slower when you just walk down because you are flying, have a flying animation. And I'm just um I am uh, I'm I'm just stopping my movement to the right. I'm not going to the left. So when I fall down I will just stop holding the right button a little bit uh, so I get the right setup. Instead of uh, holding left or whatever, I just like hold right, stop a little bit right and then hold right again. So this Bad is actually hitting me from the behind. So, this is the safe way, bonking this guy. All the bonks are necessary to get the HP down to what you want. So I just hold a little bit, like I, like you see, if I don't hold right, I just fall down to the, that part. And then I get the damage boost in the right way. I will show you right now what I mean when I'm just directly holding right, what happens then. So this bat is actually then not coming down to you. Uh, what you want is just like like when you're jumping of course you get the wrong direction and when you're just holding right uh, I think it comes straight down mostly and in that case um, you are having also the wrong one yeah you see like that he's coming straight down if you just hold right so I always stop holding right a little bit and then hold again so he's getting me from the behind and I get the right damage boost and pass this part and here's actually the boss and if you somehow need more money, here is a possibility to get 3 extra coins, it's just if you need, but you actually don't need. So now we have like 2.5 hearts here, um, it's a little bit too much, so like I, I will show you, like right now we have this one, and you always watch like what kind of HP you have, and if we are leaving the boss with 3 hearts, we actually have to do a damage boost part. So we have three hearts right now. We get a damage from the from the uh, from the boss to kill him fast because of the long eye frames. But then we have three hearts again because the boss is giving us an extra heart back because we kill him. It's the sword guy. So in the next screen we actually have to do a damage boost to get two and a half hearts because we want to enter the boss, the end boss of that round with two and a half hearts to have as low hearts so we can actually get uh, the third heart during the next round and not in the end screen so whatever. So yeah, I'll just do it again. So like I said there are two ways, you can get the, the bonk early from the mushroom if you kill both mushrooms, via the third one you can bonk, or you just uh, do a damage boost what I will show you later here. So what we are doing right now, this guy like... Um, if you're getting the iframes, it's very long. He's always coming down, as you can see. Uh, if you're far away, he's shooting uh, fireballs. And um, yeah, if you lose all your hearts, you of course get the refill potion. So what we are doing is um, we are taking damage from these uh, fireball things when he's doing that. And in the same time when we are getting hit, we are attacking him. So we are jumping into that fireball thing. And then in the same time when we are getting hit, we are using the sword. So the first hit is actually with the iframes and hitting and going thrown away. Uh, here you just see right now what happens if you lose your potion, you're dead and you start again from the beginning. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I show you two ways, the, sh the slow way and the fast way. Um, slow way is just letting him come down. This was like holding stride right uh, again only the right way. You always have to stop your movement. I mean you can you can kill that bat if you want but it's not necessary actually. Just hold a little bit not the right button, just stop a little bit and then go again and you always get the right damage boost. So this is the fast way, you just jump in that and hitting him at the same time and then he's dead. And you get the sword, you can actually jump there. Um, and there is a slower way what uh, I think I did before. Let me just try if I still remember that. So you get all the damage boosts here and uh, I think you are just uh, letting him come down and get the hit. Then again and then again. It's the same. 
So you have enough iframes so you can actually jump into him, um, killing the next two times and having still long iframes. The fast way is a little bit tricky because you have to get the hit of the damage boost and the sword at the same time. Um, so you have the long iframes and you can continue killing him and you are not actually losing time. So yeah, it's like very simple part of the round 2. Um, just explaining everything what you can do. Just skip the text here. Or um, If you use the sword be careful because you can fall into the lava. You can also jump at that and this is the fast way, just like in the same time when you get hit you are using the sword. You can collect the sword, the extra swords and, and keys, whatever in the air. Not in the top, like it has to fall down, but uh, you can collect them much higher than on the ground. In that case you're also saving time. And then here is like, um, this is kind of the jump, you're just um, here um, jumping on that one, jumping on that one and jumping on that one. And then you come to that kind of part where you actually need the damage boost. This is a pro strat when you have like three hearts. Um, so let's show it again. Like walking down or jumping down, depends whatever you want. And if you have, like, like I said, if you end with um, three hearts, you uh, have to do a really quick damage boost in the end. So yeah, hitting that guy, collecting the heart, and then just jumping up. The platform is like one, two, three, four, and if you are not doing the jump before, you can end at that wall, and uh, you have to do you lose time. So when you have three hearts, actually, um, I show you the fast way. So this is the easiest way. Yeah, like this is everybody knows. You get the platform, you don't lose any time. You kill that snake. You don't even have to do to go on the right side. You have to reach that platform, and here you use another damage boost. Um, I will do that just there, a safe state right now after I finish that part here. So yeah, really quickly, really stop the movement, jump against the bat if you want, always get the right direction. Hit the guy, hit the guy, hit the guy. It's like jumping and hitting at the same time. And then just jump here up. And you know we do it, just do a small safe state. So. Um, if you have three hearts right now, you use here a damage boost and try to continue. It's a very tight jump because uh, the platform is almost gone. And to get the cycle you actually have to um, be fast in that platform movement. Here you use the damage boost to kill that guy when he's attacking you. And uh, then you have the right amount of uh, hearts for the next boss. Um, if you would go with three hearts here you would uh, get that situation that you have 30,000 points and you get the heart during the round end situation. So damage boosting and then killing the guy inside of him um, because of the iframes. Here's the boss actually and also here you use a damage boost too. So since we are on three hearts using here a damage boost and this jump is a little bit precise. What I have to tell you is um, that if you use here a damage boost you just go directly to the right uh, and even when you're staying here you see you're, you're not falling into the lava so you can actually even jump from here uh, to the next platform it's a little bit weird but this is how it looks like so you just hold if you hold right of course you jump over him so you have to take the damage boost by directly jumping in the beginning of the screen and then jumping again like hold right jump directly and then jump again so you get this platform uh, you don't have to stop your movement, uh, you can, but you don't have to, but then this jump is much harder, so you have to clip like you see. So what I always recommend is just hold right and just jump again, because the platform is even longer than you think, so you get this jump for free. Uh, you can like climb the ladder, and uh, what I have to explain also with the ladder is that um, in the ladder, if you are collecting the ladder, let me just kill that guy. If you collect it from the from the from the ground, you are just staying at the ground and then go up. But you can also collect the ladder much higher, like in the higher parts, what you actually want to not lose time. And then you go up, so you're not losing time. So it depends where you are actually collecting that ladder, like in the in the in the ground. 
or in the top. So sometimes you are missing that ladder here but you can jump up here and then you are just fast up again. It's just very important to know how the ladders are functioning. You cannot jump from the ladders again, you only jump at the ladders but then this position what you have you have to use. So yeah, um, damage boosting is like directly jumping when you are seeing the screen. This uh, right side we actually don't need, there is nothing we need. Um, collecting that money, using here the damage boost and then killing that guy. And then when we killed him we can actually already knock at the door and we don't even have to wait what he's dropping. These guys can drop money bags, money coins. And a gauntlet, what is a very very powerful um, powerful item in that game because gauntlet makes double damage at the enemies, so you can actually uh, kill bosses faster and enemies faster. So what we what I always recommend, I mean you can wait and hope for a gauntlet, but uh, it's not actually really saving time. So yeah, they have have even double double HP in the last form. It doesn't matter. So what I recommend is kill that guy and knock before he would even know what he's coming because you have to just, you can wait and then you collect whatever he's dropping for the next round. So damage boost if you need, but only if you have like 3 hearts. If you have 2 and a half hearts you don't even have to damage boost, you just go over him. Uh, you collect that here, you don't need that thing and kill. And the mushroom is jump hit, bonk and then Oh wait, no, it was a little bit different, so um, I think it's uh, jump hit, kill the next mushroom, kill him again, like hit him again, and then um, bonking the last mushroom what is spawning, yeah, that's what it was, sorry. It's a little bit weird when you don't play it in a fluid way, so yeah, just uh, get the platform and everything, and get the damage boost couldn't even see it because there was a message from Windows at that moment. So yeah, just get the pattern. If you are too slow here and you miss that platform or you get hit by that, you are losing uh, the top platform and you are also losing um, the possibility to get hit by that, by that arrow. So you see everything is screwed up. So try not to miss the platform and try not to get hit by that snake. Just kill the snake and uh, just go. And um, yeah, like I said, use the arrow of jumping and drawn, that was the back one. You just go inside. Mm, yeah. It's a little tricky when you don't do it all in the normal movement, explaining stuff. But I think you get the idea. So you want to bring your HP down actually to a special card. So you can see then my points. So I just go inside. Hit him, kill this guy, hit him and bonk this guy. So we have two hearts and a little bit. Collect all the money. Um, you can actually jump like from here when the, when the, when the key is spawn you can jump here. And then you collect mostly everything on the way. And then you can collect that one with the jump. And what you can see right now is we have 29,670. So um, I will tell you something about the points. Um, if you kill both mushrooms, you have mostly 29,600. If you kill only one mushroom, you have 20,400. And if you kill no mushroom, you have 20, uh, 29,200. So if you have like killed one mushroom or so two mushrooms, you will reach the 30,000 for sure. Um, I just show you which one you have to kill and which not. Um, and you get an extra heart and then uh, you can actually use that for another damage boost before the red knight. So you bring your HP as low as possible uh, without losing the potion what uh, you actually never want to lose in the whole run. So this is just the one time and it's very important to look at the points. And then later before Medusa you can also watch for your points but it's just luck based if you are passing 1000 before or during that round. Uh, because you have to kill a lot of enemies and you put a gold and all the stuff. So, yeah. Um, what you want is, like I said, 29,200 is when you're done bonking the mushrooms. Uh, when you only bonk the mushrooms, 400 when you kill one mushroom, and 600 when you get a kill 
both mushrooms, every coin what you're collecting is 20 gold, but it doesn't even make a big difference. So if you are having 29,200 because of not killing anybody, um, it is like uh, you get then 30,000 parts when you kill the boss, the red knight, the uh, end boss in that round. If you killed one mushroom, you get it before. And if you kill two mushrooms, you also get it before because you already killed enemies, so you get, had more points. So you will pass the 30,000 earlier. Um, in any case, like um, when you have 29,200 points because of just bonking the mushrooms and not killing them, uh, you have a little bit trickier situation with the snake because you don't want to get a bonk there because if you ha get a bonk there you actually have to kill one more enemy so you get 30,000 before or you have to kill a ghost on the way that is your choice um, I just want to mention that um, the perfect way would be actually just um, put on if you have 29,200 uh, points that you are not getting any more damage than the damage uh, what is needed uh, one time a damage boost to pass one ghost and then one damage boost to pass another ghost before the end boss door so yeah i would just go here again and then i would just uh, try to show you the next round so just the explanation when you have like only like when you have 80 golds in the beginning and you just bonk the mushrooms uh, because you don't even need more money you can actually you have to be here a little bit more careful because uh, any more extra damage will give you the heart too uh, late and then you have to kill actually uh, one ghost and then you get 30,000 points but you have then too much HP so when you have 29,200 there's one yellow snake or two yellow snakes because we have to buy thunder for later where uh, you actually don't want to take any damage so you can actually hit the snake and then jump over it um, and then the other snake is actually spawning away from you and you can buy the, um, the thunder but there's also a fast way where you just um, uh, cast the snake without even uh, like having a chance of the like it is really fast it's like one second what you will say if you would just jump over the snake and then jump inside the door, get the thunder and uh, jump out again. It's really tricky, it's really precise, but um, as we mentioned, especially when you are having this situation that you didn't have to kill any mushrooms before the shoes, just to mention that. I will try to show that so you get an idea from it, but uh, now since we have like Round three, we are just showing up round three. So, damage boosting here if you need. If you have like three hearts, two and a hard hearts, you just jump over that guy. Uh, you don't need the damage boost then. And using the arrow for damage boosting forward, kill that guy, go inside, kill the mushroom, kill that mushroom, and bomb that mushroom. And collecting the money on the way. If one is going away, just leave it like that don't care because mostly you get money from this guy you need actually 50 gold because um, you have to buy thunder for 50 gold three thunders so yeah you have to watch a little bit your money let's do that again and you see like I even jumped like outside of the platform very far outside so the platform is longer than the screen is actually showing so if you are somehow not um, collecting enough money here, don't worry. You can try to collect them later, whatever you want, but it's like a little bit weird jump here. And then you just go inside and you need two hearts and a little bit to enter that. So you have like three and three hearts on this. Just saying. And you can skip always that round sound uh, by pressing buttons. Like I'm just showing the round button like the round sound but you can directly skip after the refill of the hearts you just press buttons so you can get out I recommend the jump button because if you use the sword button accidentally it could be that you are starting with the sword in the next screen 
and then uh, yeah, if you start with a sword, you are slow and you don't get the patterns and all this stuff. So here's how you have to play this: you just pass this guy, he cannot hit you. You jump on the second and over. Here you just stop a little bit. Like um, we want to get damage boosted by this guy in this way, so we can pass this one. And you can see right now that I have one heart and 75% of a heart what is exactly one more damage of these goals what we actually want so yeah one guy uh, one ghost one red ghost is actually doing one and a half damage and we are damaging two times these red ghosts so we are uh, having like 25 percent of a heart uh, in the end entering the boss and we kill the boss and we get an extra heart so yeah, let's show that again, so it's kind of uh, like tricky. Um, there is a setup what you can do if you are not getting this jump, you, uh, actually this is the way how it goes in a fast way and you can pass this guy because of the iframes. Um, if you're not, like if you have like problems with that or whatever, it's, uh, it's like if you don't run fast enough in the beginning or whatever, or you can actually use here one of the spikes and then just pass this guy this is set up the, the fair setup let's say that but mostly it's actually not so difficult it's the same like this bad jump what I was showing earlier that you are just um, waiting here a second and then just bonking him from the behind so you can pass this part you can kill that mushroom but actually I always recommend this uh, snake killing you can hit that guy so you can jump over and then this next snake is actually going to the left as you can see so you can enter the door and go out again and without that the snake is uh, actually hitting you and um, yeah that's the setup the, the slow setup but there's also a little bit of faster setup but it's kind of tricky because you have to get everything perfectly the jumps and all the stuff so here you see like I'm almost not stopping but I still get that damage boost you just have to get that stairs fast enough without stopping and then you can use the sword or jump even over him and then you land like here and then you just go like you saw right now the damage but this is the fastest way you can jump over the snake actually without hitting depends how fast you are and um, then you just uh, land in front of that. Um, oh, made the sound. Made the sound wrong. So uh, yeah, you just uh, land in front of the the other snake, what is actually coming in your way, and then you just uh, go quickly out and run away in the moment when you go out. That's actually weird. He's saying to me I don't have any more slots right now. It could be because I changed the sound that uh, the slots are not loaded. So let me just open that again. If not, I just play fast to that part and then you're saving it. But if you change accidentally, I changed the sound, I think. So um, let me see if I just get right now back to the position we had been yep there we go so I changed the sound and because of that my save state didn't work so here we are again uh, like I said there are two ways using the spikes or using the enemy enemy is recommended and in that case you are not losing any time damage boosting forward and if you're doing everything precise here you can actually pass these snakes you can hit that snake always and then the other snake is just going away pressing 2, 1 and then 2 again here to go out here's actually a secret heart if you need it because you get damage or whatever so you just uh, what you can do is like you are jumping from that platform here long enough so you are spawning that heart go in the door get the thunder and then collect the heart on the way because then you're not losing any time so i try to show that heart 
set up for you right now if you are just somehow not having the right hearts because you will figure it out like you need like one and a half hearts plus extra heart so you are not losing that um you don't have to worry actually about um, getting a hit right now because you get an extra heart with the next hit and then you have enough hearts for um the damage boost what i will show you later so if you kill both mushrooms you don't even have to worry about that that setup with the heart is only a thing if you bonked the mushrooms in the beginning and you have like 29,200 points. Then you have to look for your HP because you would get um, you would get the 30,000 only at the fight or if you hit another enemy before. So um, best case scenario, like I said, 80 gold, bonking the mushrooms in round two and not stopping there and then here passing the part and if you somehow get damage what you don't want from the snakes from the moving snakes you can collect that extra heart there so you have enough um, and not even losing time because you can do it on the way and then collecting the extra hearts you can use the damage boost of the ghost uh, before the night but then you have more hearts so whatever you want you can kill the one uh, ghost what is in your way then or you uh, just use the extra heart whatever you want so I would just that was like if you don't directly move to the left so you have to hold left here you will get hit by that ghost so you just have to hold left directly in the beginning of the screen and then just use the damage boost here and yeah if you're fast enough here with the jumps you can actually yeah, I just used right now the damage boost, you saw I make a really late jump and then I just used that heart because then I gotta refill the heart. So what you have to actually do here is doing a really late and long jump, like from here, so that heart is spawning and then you are not losing any time. You go into the shop and then you collect the heart on the way back. But it's only recommended uh, if you are having 29,200 points and you get a damage accidentally. You can get that snake like here jumping over it or if you are not fast enough you can use the sword but it's kind of tricky because um, you want to hit the, sw the, the snake before and you see that snake is moving whatever they want huh? so they are quickly moving left and right as you can see it's a little bit RNG so yeah Tricky tricky, especially when you're having low HP, but if you have higher HP you don't have to worry. You can actually use their damage boost, because now I show you the way with the damage boost, it's much faster. It's like really easy, and since we get a refill, like you can use here the damage boost, and then you just go here before, use the shop, jump out, and then you will have definitely enough hearts for the next damage boost part. Jumping up the platforms here, just kill that and we got that heart. Uh, ignore that shop for any percent, collect that. And I show you right now why we are use, needing that two hearts at least, or that 170.75% heart. Because we'd use here damage boost, so we can use here jump, so we can jump over that ghost. And that ghost actually we normally ha would have to kill. And. Um, yeah, these ghosts are really annoying, of course. So that's why we need that kind of heart. And um, like I already mentioned, if you kill one or two mushrooms, you have enough points to get the heart, the extra heart, what you want before. Um, if you want to be safe, you can actually kill that mushroom uh, extra if you have 29,200 points. Um, so you get the passing 30,000 points before the boss. But the fastest way is, like I already mentioned, um, when you have 29,200 points, kill the snake, ignore the snakes then the top, like use the sword and jump over, and um, have one heart and 75% of a heart, get the damage boost at the last ghost before the red knight, and enter the door with a little bit of health, because then it's the fastest way, actually. But um, I think, in theoretically, 
it is even faster to kill one mushroom and pass before the points and get the damage boost of the snake here, the yellow one, because then you have lower HP and you are actually saving time. It should be like a very similar thing to should be a similar thing to um, how much time you are saved according to how much time you are lose. So if you are killing one mushroom in round two before the shoes, you always can use here in that yellow snake uh, a damage boost, so you bring half a heart more down. So you start your next round in a lower heart level than before, um, since when you are like just using like having twenty nine thousand two hundred points, you have to play a little bit precise, and um, then you get an extra heart, and uh, it's kind of a similar thing. So I, I always recommend you have like twenty nine thousand two hundred points to just avoid any damage, and if you need an extra heart, you saw the extra heart there, and um, make a long jump, uh, collect the thunders and then uh, take the heart so you can use a damage boost before. If you don't want a damage boost before you can actually kill that one ghost what is in your way um, instead of using the damage boost from the, the ghost before on the top. But yeah, we also have to mention that when you have a gauntlet, an early gauntlet, that some of the enemies like these uh, throwing error guys, they normally need right now two hits, but with the uh, gauntlet they only need one hit. And uh, in that case it's speeded up and you could have to wait a little bit to get the damage boost on the right time. So you get behind the ghost and can damage boost in the front. Um, just trying to mention that it could happen that you are too fast because of the gauntlet. And then you have to wait some frames so the ghost is going up and then you can use the damage boost to go into the door. Uh, Gaunt is always recommended, Gaunt is always helping because you have like some hits for free where you can actually uh, use more damage and speed up your run. So yeah, ignore that guy. If you're not fast enough here. I use the damage boost because I can. The safe way is of course jumping down, hitting that snake away and then going to the shop. Um, fast way is just jump before him, use the shop and go out, but you can play safe and just hit that snake again. And yeah, the jumps are here, like from from that here, like you go up and you just jump all up here and then one, 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 and then here with that jump you kill that snake. And then you just jump on the top here of that ladder, so you can continue here. And yeah, in the next screen there is one guy who is throwing arrows. You can actually kill him before he's hitting one arrow. So they always jump twice, and then the second time when they land on the ground, they are um, second time when they are land on the ground, they are throwing their arrows. So you just have to get them before. And yeah, damage boosting these enemies is always depending if you hit them from the front. And uh, yeah. So you see I got my heart here and this guy is drawing when he's reaching the second time the ground and you can actually hit him like before he's even hitting his uh, second arrow, uh, his first arrow. So if you're just fast enough you just go and then uh, hit that guy. Yeah, I think I explained everything right now in this round, I just have to right now show you the boss. So you can hit that snake very early if you can see and then just use that and then this snake is away. If you hit the other snake, like if you hit this ground snake, this snake will be away. If you just use a damage boost, it could be that you hit this, want to hit this snake so you can enter the shop or you just go down and then go out again before it's hitting you. It's always small time saves, what depends what you want, if you just want to have a save run or if you want to have a world record run, like small time saves here and there are uh, making the difference in the end. So yeah, just hold right here directly, if not you get hit by the ghost. Jump on the second one, it doesn't even matter if you get stopped here because then you can directly go. 
If you don't get hit, just use the spikes and then go up. Don't kill that guy, you can, but you don't have to. Uh, if you want, use the damage boost, so in that case it could be that you have to hit this guy. If you are not sure that you can make it, whatever you want. And then um, yeah, just jump here up, kill that guy. And when you have like um, killed both mushrooms, you will get the new heart here. If you killed only one mushroom, you get the new heart from the jump from the arrow guy, the guy who throws the arrow in the next screen. And if you have killed no mushroom, uh, you would have you get then the you get then the new heart when you're killing the red knight, the boss of this uh, round. So if you get like stuck here, you get a damage boost, you get a damage boost. Look for that. It's always good to get a damage boost from that snake in the right way, like in that can in the left way. Because uh, yeah, you want to bring your HP as low as possible and you get an extra heart anyway. So you need just one and a half hearts plus something. And um, jump on these platforms because they are bringing you away backward. And you can bonk this guy, what I do, or you just can kill this guy in your way and then go to the door, whatever you want, whatever is like the damage boost. Now you see I have really low HP. One more hit and I'm uh, I'm losing my potion, what we don't want. So low HP means also you have to play very precise uh, at the boss. So yeah, um, we play mostly on really low HP, but we don't want to lose our... Uh, potion because the potion is um, always a time loss and also risky because you get the next potion very late in the game so you could be losing your run before. So I think I explained everything with the points and the mushrooms and all this stuff most of the time. Now you can play here the same way or this way but it's much faster. Just go up here, pass it, you have long iframes. Precise jumps. If you don't get him, doesn't matter, you can actually pass this guy. Look where the other snake is, collect the thunders, they are very important. You need all three, don't activate them before. Uh, you have to activate them, I will show you where. And then just yeah, kill that snake, kill that guy here, collect whatever he's spawning. He can spawn gauntlets, money coin, or uh, money bag. Uh, use the damage boost here and then we are coming to the boss there are two ways it's like two two times hitting him and you see he's making so much damage that he's uh, actually directly like two hearts so you're losing the potion with every bomb and uh, yeah you're quickly dead because you are in low armor so there are two ways uh, I just want to show you that. So the first way is just going to the left and hitting twice and then again twice or uh, just uh, get him come one, hitting him and then hitting him three times in the corner. Uh, I will try to uh, make a safe set in front of the door so I can show you that. But this, uh, these bosses are really easy. Like the knights are mostly always doing the same pattern with jumping and attacking, so you don't have to think about that anyway. So there's actually no RNG except one thing, what is called the swings. The swings can actually um, kill a run later. The run depends on 50%, uh, like there are three answers and two can be correct and you don't know which one is correct. And that could be a 30 second time loss with the swings. So you just collect whatever you want and I would just get the damage boost and directly save that in front of the door so I can show you that. So we are like the lowest way of HP what you can have and this is the way 1, 2, let him come and 3, 4. So the coins are spawning all in the corner what we actually want because then we can really fast go out. So in that case, he spawns the money here and you can jump and collect everything on the air. It's a little bit timing thing. 
But this is where you want to have him and uh, just then you can collect everything when you're out. The other way is... Um, oh, that was a thunder accidentally. The other way is that you are hitting him but he gets he gets the damage into the right direction. So in the moment you see me doing him the damage to the left direction. Uh, but you can also hit him in the right direction, then he jumps and you can actually hit him three times in the corner, it's even faster, but it's very precise. So this is the easy way, so you're still in the corner, and you get an extra heart because you killed the boss. But you can actually also try to kill him there. Wait, it's a little bit difficult actually. So you want him that he's, like, you want him that you are hitting him that he's going damage to the left and not to the right and then he's jumping and then you have to put him into the corner so it's mostly lucky this is the easiest way no problem but um, let me try that it's, it's a little bit faster so you see he's completely in the corner and you just get all the money exactly in the corner. So this is a little bit faster, but this is the easier setup. And um, in my case, you're not losing so much time if you're just uh, collecting all the money. But this is the faster way. Because you bring him into the position that you are really next to the corner and collect all the money directly. Whatever you want, but I would stay first with that. And... Um, you're not losing so much time, according to the other one. Is this round 3? See, like really close to the... To the... Um, to the corner, and as much as the coins in that red room are at the corner, they are always easier to collect. So yeah, you always want mostly that the bosses you kill with the red doors are getting killed in the corner. So if you just, like if you have a red door, you don't get a key, so you can directly collect everything. So yeah. This red knight you want to have in the corner, and there are later also others you want to have in the corner. And especially in any percent, if you don't have to collect money, later we are just jumping against the keys um, instead of collecting any money. It depends always what we want. Um, what I have to mention right now in that screen, what we are like right now entering, is you want actually 100 gold. Um, so you have to watch a little bit the gold of the of before. And um, there are gold bags on the way, but uh, do not lose time and get a damage boost with an enemy. I recommend that you have uh, at least like 20 gold or something before the Red Knight. Um, if you have 10, it could be a little bit tricky, but you want actually 100 gold. So you can buy the low armor for 60 and you can buy the low shield for 40. Um, the end equipment what we will have is low shield, legendary boots, heavy armor, what is the third armor, and uh, legendary sword. Why heavy armor? Because if you are like the armor is five armors, it's like a uh, low pink one for 60, then night one for 150, then the heavy one for 100. I don't know why it's cheaper, but it's uh, better and stronger than the night one, then the blue one. Uh, and then the legendary one, but um, we are going with the lowest what we have to pay, what is like 60 and then 100, what is 160 together, what would be like the knight um, armor together, like you buy 160 the same like for two armor then for one armor, and it's always going like that, if you buy one armor then it will spawn the next down, not anymore, but the next up. So if you like buy the second armor, you get then to select the third and the fourth. And the armors have five, and the shoes uh, and the shield have four. So in the armor, to get like the third one, what is the strongest one for the lowest money, you actually have to buy the first one to get the third one in the next screen whenever we have to buy it again. But we need here 100 to get both. You can actually play without the shield if you want, but um, 
I always recommend the shield because you block everything in the way and the shield doesn't matter which kind of shield you have is blocking you the same way so whatever kind of shield you have you can have the lowest or the best it blocks every shot uh, I think you get just pushed a little bit more away with the lowest one but um, I recommend the lowest just to have a security because there are a lot of enemies what are shooting arrows and you just block them and uh, just continue your way instead of jumping over these arrows and try to get damage boost and all this stuff so use the, sh the lower shield you lose like one second but you are gaining so much time because of uh, using that shield against every enemy what is throwing an, uh, an arrow so yeah um, in that next screen here we have two gold bags I recommend this is this one and this one the gold bags on this uh, platform can spawn between 14 and 21 gold here are more if you need like this third one and there's here one more and um, this one we use actually later than the damage boost and here on that platform there would be actually one more gold bag if you need just to let you know where are a secret hidden gold bags so you see we have 84 so we are just collecting right now this one and this one and then we have over 100 and then we can just use a damage boost we want to be behind that enemy so we are landing on that platform if we are not landing on the platform we can always jump up here and then do that and lose we go here that section is actually really easy um, yeah, use the gold bags, what you just collect here, and it's always random, it's RNG. And then make a late jump, so you get the damage boost and land on that platform. And here just use the thunder, so you're passing. Um, if you're afraid of the damage boost because uh, of that one enemy, then just uh, you can also use a sword attack if you want. So you can also like use a sword and just pass it like that a safer way but in that case you are not bringing down your HP and like I already mentioned you always want a low HP situation and we want to enter the boss with one heart and a little bit because we are using one damage boost from the boss from his attack and then we are like finishing uh, with the lowest part because we get an extra heart from the boss when we are beating him and so on. Like every time when you beat a boss you get an extra heart, every time when you are ending the screen you get an extra heart. So you get always two extra hearts back. So what you want is like you bring your HP as low as down as possible. So you are starting the next screen with only two hearts and a little bit maximum if you can. That's why this uh, heart management is so important because you get always two hearts with the boss and with uh, ending the round. And because of that, you actually always want to use damage boost for free, but you are bringing you into the right direction and then landing on the platform. And you see, like, I have 175% heart now, but I didn't even lose any time because I was using the damage boost on the enemy. But you can also hit the sword and then you still get that platform, that moving platform, what is not a big deal. Uh, if you somehow miss it, what can actually really happen, like if you are just jumping too early or whatever against this uh, guy, so you get like the damage boost too early or whatever like this uh, you can actually like when you're landing here on the ground jump on that and then you're like mostly reaching that platform very very uh, at the limit and it could be that you have to jump um, like uh, you have to jump a little bit uh, I would try to show that like now I can just go here on the top and um, I have to jump like from the really late part because the platform is already going back to the right side so it's a little bit precise as a jump but with the damage boost in the right time and landing on the platform you don't have a problem with that platform here so you don't actually want to wait and you use the thunder or your magic weapon by pressing down so when you press down you can activate the, the magic what you have right now on the screen you cannot use other magic what is under so you can collect as much magic as you want um, but you only can use what you're seeing right now so when you are using it the sword is shown on the right screen uh, if you have other magic under use you can use now the other magic and just try to remember what kind of um, 
magic you collected during the run if you collect my uh, if you collect your magic. So we have three thunder and we use one here to uh, avoid getting a hit from these uh, jumping guys there in the end. And we just use the damage boost and land on the platform. Use that. And here um, we are buying the first one. It's the left one. And then we are buying here shields. And here is a money bag what you can collect. If you are low on money, uh, you can actually you could go here. I think here is was here not something? I think you, yeah here was. If you like need money, you can collect here money, but it's actually not necessary. Um, to go back to that section with that uh, mouse guys here. Um, the mouse can like be in front of you or behind you. Uh, what you can do actually is um, jump over the mouse and then get a damage boost to the left. Um, if it's in front of you, you can use the sword, but actually it's always recommended to just uh, here get the damage boost from that so you can pass this mouse. If you somehow cannot uh, damage boost with that mouse here, if you cannot damage boost this mouse here, uh, you have to hit the next mouse mostly because if not, you get the bonk into the right direction. So, recommended is a damage boost from that mouse here without stopping and then just passing that and going here and then collect that one. Um, depends if you're using one time the sword against this mouse or just damage boosting, you can wait here so you get the damage boost from that enemy in the right time. Don't fall in the water because then you have to do everything again. And you lose a lot of time. As you can see, you have to climb out. It's just for 100% recommended, but the enemies changed. You can actually not go backwards again here. Uh, you will see right now, I will try to go back, but it's now locked. And uh, this, here's not a red, here's a guy like that. So, yeah. Cool, so like like I said, collect these two ones, of course, you don't even have to wait there, but uh, I recommend that. Use the damage boost, um, kill these guys, look what the guys are doing, press a button to pass this uh, text. And as you can see, I get right now the damage boost not, so I have to hit him. Um, it's always the left, and then I just, uh, because I used the sword, I can use here a damage boost and land on that and can actually knock on the door in the moment when I dis disappear my um, iframes and I have one heart and something and I would right now have enough like you always want to have like one heart and a little bit for that boss because you get a damage for sure and um, you get one time a damage if you're doing it correctly and then you are finishing it with uh, one heart and a little bit after that boss and if you're short, like I was showing right now, you just have to make a little bit late jump. Press the button so the text is going away. Left one. Um, if you use the sword, you don't have to worry about that. If you don't use the sword, you have to wait here a little bit so you get the damage boost. You want only the damage boost, by the way, if you have like more. Like if you have one heart and 75% uh, of a heart, because this guy is doing percent of a heart damage. If you have like one and a half hearts, just ignore that guy and try not to get hit. Uh, because you want one heart and something to enter the next boss. Um, why? Because every time when you get hit from that boss, what you want to, you are getting one heart damage with that armor. So if you have one heart and a little bit, all is fine. You can get the damage and uh, you can actually kill him in a two cycle if you're fast enough. So yeah, these two bags actually um, it's recommended. You can try to be faster, but it doesn't even save so much time because the platform is not in the right spot anyway. And uh, yeah, buying here the left one for 60. Um, be careful with the mouse. Buying the left one for, for 40. Collect that gold bag, get the damage boost, and um, enter that. Guy. So what I'm doing is, you can, like you always get hit, so but you can hit that guy three times. So yeah, as long as you don't get one more hit, you're not losing your potion. 
You get one hit for free, like uh, one one hit for sure, because you want that, because you want to get the iframe situation. Um, so you can actually hit inside of him with your long iframe situation. So if you get the hit of the fireballs at the right time, you can actually hit him during your iframe situation from the inside. If that happens, by the way, it's always slower, you just have to wait until the platform is still left. But it's okay. And uh, damage boosting here. Cool, if not, hit the sword. Now I have one and a half. So I have to ignore that guy, because if I get a damage right now I would have one heart. Be careful with the mouse, you can jump over, or you have to use a sword. So that was three hits. And as you can see I was jumping inside of him. Uh, what is much easier, and then you just collect all the money. Uh, if you can, if you pass one, pass one, but you get eight gold each coin. And you want to have around 100 gold. Uh, going out of that um, round four, by the way, because in the next screen I have to mention that you want to, before you are entering the pyramid, you want to have around 170 to 180 gold to get enough money uh, without losing a lot of time to buy the legendary boots. What you get after the swings um, in the next screen. There's a shop and you want to have 380 golds to buy the legendary boots. So yeah, if you really want to be safe, of course you can collect all the money in this way here, but uh, fastest strat is collecting these two because you have to wait anyway for this jumping guy and the second one too. And just use here damage boost, land on the platform and press a button here. Now I get the damage boost by the way. Um, now I get the damage boost so I can pass this guy. And since I have only um, one and a half hearts, I have to ignore that guy. If you have more hearts, you can actually use here always the damage boost of this guy. Um, yeah, you want one heart and something. Because every damage is um, one heart from this guy. Also, what I have to mention for speedrunning that, if you are using the sword. If you're using the sword before the jump button, you are not jumping. You have to jump first to use the sword. So you can hit him like uh, one time, two, three, like one, two, three, something like that, four, five, six. It's a little bit tricky actually. But if you use the sword before jump, you cannot jump anymore. So you have to use jump before sword. But uh, because you're using like really quick attacking, uh, it could be that you're using the sword on the ground before the jump and then you're just messing your timing up. So this is kind of the way how you have to fight this guy because the octopus is moving up and down. And you can two cycle him. This is the fastest way. There is no faster way, I think. Like three hits every round. He's needing six hits. And if you somehow have a gauntlet, you can even kill him in three hits if uh, you are doing it lucky and then you save a lot of time because you are passing a cycle, but gauntlet is always a luck based thing. And then if you want, you can just get a bomb from this guy and uh, you're done. And this is uh, round four. So, let's do it again. To show. Getting near the gold. Between 14 and 21 is always right now. Use the damage boost. Depends how much HP you have actually. Yeah. Don't forget that you need like one heart and something in the end. So, yeah. When you get the damage boost from these mouses, just don't bonk the next guy. If you don't get the damage boost from these uh, mouse guys, you can use that uh, guy here. Just fall down. Be careful with that mouse. You have to perhaps to use a sword. And uh, to get a two cycle, yeah, you have to just hit him three times in the beginning. If you don't kill him directly, uh, just jump, uh, land between the fireballs, and then just get the hit. So this is round four, and you see we have two hearts and something, and we actually want to have at least one heart and seventy-five percent of a heart. 
for a really cool strat what I was finding out against um, kind of a ape guy what we have to kill to get another sword later is a hidden a secret boss what uh, there is a question mark over the door but to get all the sword uh, all the swords and the legendary swords you actually have to kill that guy but there's a damage boost stretch uh, and with a damage boost strat you actually need more than one and a half hearts because he's making one and a half hearts damage when you're bonking him so you need minimum one heart and 75 percent of a heart to use that damage boost strat against him because you get then an extra heart when you're uh, killing him it's really fast because you're cornering him into the side into the right side and in that case it's a really fast uh, killing situation also what i wanted to mention already like i said um, in the end of that round you want to have around 170 to let's say 190 gold the best is like i always look for 180 gold um there are like these uh, guys who are throwing arrows there's also secret money bags and um, you can actually completely ignore every enemy except these uh, jumping uh, arrow guys you have to kill them all the way and you hope for good money drops and later after that ape guy there is um, another situation where you have a lot of these arrow jump, uh, jumping guys where you can ignore them and jump behind them if you have enough money or you kill them and just collect the money depends uh, how your money situation is um, because around 180 you have two ghosts who are throwing money down and you have three for free gold bags and uh, some enemies also some snakes um, so yeah you always have to look a little bit for your money and you need at least then in the swings before the swings 308 gold to get 380 gold with the money from the swings so you can buy the legendary boots what is very important um, there's also a kind of a backup situation where you can collect more money like but there's also the problem that there is an enemy on top but when it hits you makes too hard damage so it's a little bit tricky to collect their money because you have to avoid his shoots and um, if you get hit like you lose your potion perhaps so it's always better to have before good money and ignore that guy than um, having bad money try to collect money and then get hit from that guy and lose the potion what you don't want so yeah let's go in round five so you just block right now the arrows like i mentioned two hits and then they're gone kill these guys and here is a secret bag and yeah, you collect money. I have 157. These guys are also spawning money from, from 1 to 6. I have 166, so I have around almost 180. So I will, in my mind, right now, think and say, I just want to kill one of these arrow guys in the end. Here, by the way, is nothing. Here's a coin, yeah, but um, you would lose time if you would collect that coin. It's just 1 to 4 gold. So he is nothing, you can do nothing here, it's also no cannot pass, you have to jump in that hole by the way. And there we have a no stop part, um, what is very easy actually, you will figure it quickly out. So I'll just do that again. If you still have a gauntlet active, these guys only uh, use like one. If you would not have a shield, you would always have to jump over these arrows. And you see it's a little bit tricky uh, to set it up then so that's why I recommend the shield because you just walk forward and block all the arrows from these guys you don't have to worry about the jumping except uh, the one money back there so you see like you get thrown a little bit back but not so much and uh, you just use the shield very easy and uh, no big deal and uh, if you somehow get hit from the snake here on the ground, you can go directly, use the iframes. But if you want to have the money, of course, you kill, 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 and kill all four, you know. So you collect the money. And then we come to the no stop. 
So yeah, if you would not buy that shield, you would always have to jump over these arrows, perhaps using even a damage boost, but I think this is much easier. And you land all on this platform, and then you just fall down. I show you the no stop to the door. Um, if you want to take more damage, um, like you can get, um, there is one one damage boost what you can use if you have too much HP to bring your HP a little bit down. You can bring it one heart down and not lose so much time. But I only recommend if you have more than two hearts and 75%. Like you need at least two hearts and 75% of a heart to use that damage boost for your advantage to bring your HP down without even having a problem. You can even enter the pyramid with 25% uh, of a heart, it's not a big deal um, in any case. So yeah, you get an extra heart for the boss and you get an extra heart when you're finished thing. Since you're not fighting another boss, you're just collecting a key from, uh, from a falling trap and uh, killing some uh, bats where we are using the second time our thunder where we just bought. So the no stop is just killing that guy and then just walk and jump over everything. Here you can use the damage boost, what I was shown, just want to show, and then you can enter here and you're at the boss. Um, so just hold the right and just uh, jump over these guys. You can make a late jump. And uh, of course you just have to jump over everything. If not, Every damage of course kills you, so what I mostly do is like I just stop a little bit here and then I have enough time. So I'm making a kind of a, a let me try to show you that. I make like a half core like that, just uh, let you see that, like a little bit of half core, like I stay straight and then I go to the right. Because if I go directly to the right this uh, pattern is kind of difficult, um, like I said if I go directly right. Um, I get a damage boost and um, it's kind of tricky. You can do whatever you want, but there's the secret one. I like, like I said, I make like a small waiting and then a right so I don't get hit. And then I just go into the door. And here is the situation with the damage boost. If you're too close to him, you get another hit. So that's why you need like one and a half hearts there, at least plus something. Because um, if you are damaging him, you see right now that I lose one and a half hearts. Because before I had like two and something, 24. And then I lost one and a half hearts. And one more hit, I would lose my potion. But you need the damage boost actually. Uh, like I said, always try to make like straight and then right. Because in that case you get the right pattern. Instead of directly going right, jump over everything. Or use the damage boost if you want. And then just try to bring him into the corner and far away and just mash him out. And there you have it. And you can jump for that um, for that sword. So yeah, very easy. Here, like I said, you can even use your early jump and then you can damage boost here. So you lose one more heart if you need it. And then just go into the door and uh, use the damage boost strat to that guy so damage boost strat is actually not so hard as it looks like you just run into him and then jump in the top get him here and then just use the iframes to set him up and stay away from him and then kill him and collect the sword in the highest point and if you get hit by that bat just go normally you get hit by the other bat so this is a uh, most of the part in that uh, every time when you by the way every time when you see a text box screen on the screen like a text box just press a button quickly you will know which one you have to but which buttons you have to just press when you have to press a button to directly clear that text box as much as you're running that game you know where you have to press the button so there are like I don't know, five or six times where you have to press a button So yeah, very easy strat actually, just walk, jump at the right time over the enemies and just knock at that door. Use the damage boost strat, 
Use the iframes. Your sword is actually really long, so you don't have to worry. You can even hit him like far away. And then just uh, go here. And normally you get like hit by that, that what you actually want. And there we are in the next one. Uh, we'll do um, here right now after showing one more time the safe strat, uh, safe state, so you know what you have to do. But yeah, it's like really easy that time. Just don't stop walking, jump in the right time, and then you never get hit. Use the iframes, make set him up, and then just kill this guy. Collect the uh, collect the sword. And you see I have 161 gold, so I will only try to kill one guy, the man desert. And I will right now explain you, like I will show you how you can play the next part, there are two ways, uh, or three ways. Um, you can kill the first guy and you have an easier setup for the falling down part with uh, climbing then up the blocks. Or you will damage boost the first guy, then fall down, and then climb up and uh, kill one of the other guys. You can actually kill fast enough without losing so much time three guys. The last guy is a blue guy, what you need four hits. Um, I don't recommend to kill the fourth guy if you are really on low money, of course, I recommend that. But that would be like bad luck when you are having like three guys who are giving you a gauntlet or whatever then uh, yeah you have to kill the last guy but i recommend you to always watch the gold and have around 180 gold perhaps a little bit over a little bit down if you have 190 200 you would not have a problem to get enough money for the legendary boots in the end but uh, i say like look around 180 gold and um, if you're like right now if i would have 140 i would uh, kill the first guy the second guy, hope for good money drop, and look if I have to kill also the third guy. If I have like right now 161, I will just kill the second guy and see what he's dropping. And depends what he's dropping, I think about killing also the third guy. So yeah, look for money management. The guys, these arrow guys can drop between 5 gold as a coin and 21 gold as a bag. Uh, luck based, uh, you have to see what they are dropping. And, uh, just take it uh, and try to react whatever they are dropping and see what is your money management, let's say that. So what you actually do here is uh, you can use the damage boost, what I just show you, to fast this guy. Or um, what you can also do is um, jump long and just then jump precise on the back of him. And then here between these two things is uh, the part with the key and the bats where we have to use the second second time the thunder. If you're using it in the air, in the top, you kill all bats together. So if you use it too late, you are actually not having the power to kill everything. So if you just fall down, just um, use it directly. So you have like only one bat on the screen and you just have to kill that and you have to climb here. The first, the third and the fifth platform are long pattern and the second and the fourth are short pattern and I will show you how to climb out very fast. So this is the best way actually right now. Block this, um, bonk him from the behind, jump between these down kill this guy, um, I didn't get my sword and just watch the pattern of the blocks but uh, I would, I want to show it in the past way of course so jump here, block that if you jump too early you get that the hit then you have to wait here I actually don't want to land on the platform, I want to land on the ground so the bat is coming actually to the ground so yeah, just a little bit tricky here and there Get the right jump, jump here down, and kill that, and then up, 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 and you're out. You can kill that guy if you want, gaunt is perfect, then you just kill that guy, and if you want, you can also kill that guy, and then you hopefully have enough money. The, the arrow guys are making 25% of the damage right now, I think. Um, 
and the blue guy is making with his arrow and with his body 50% of the damage of a heart. So depends if you want to bring your HP really down or not. I, I recommend to be around one heart, but it doesn't really matter, like I said. Depends what level you are, what you are grinding, if you want to grind for world record or whatever. Uh, you have to bring your HP management really down without even losing time. And that is mostly if you are bonking the enemies from the behind, so you get damage boost to the right, or you are jumping on the arrows to get the damage boost also to the right, and then passing the guys. This is what I just recommend. So yeah, just jump on that or kill that guy. Like there are two ways. I'll show you right now again. It's like the first thing is just go here and kill that guy. And then you can just fall down here and you have the right pattern and if you have enough money just go on the damage boost here and pass this all or like i said i have 161 so my strat would be right now to jump over the guy that was a late jump and when i get damage boost to the left i have to wait for that arrow then i would just um, Jump here always fast up and then just kill that guy see what he's dropping He dropped me 17 so I can use the arrow and just go into that pyramid And you can see this guy is making half a heart damage and the other one made like 25% of a heart damage And look for your HP management if you're like close to die and just um, kill these guys so you don't lose your potion early. So I just use here the damage boost. I have 167, so I decide to do another one. And then I damage boost him if I can, the arrow or not. Depends what I what my HP management is. Uh, I try to bring it down without losing time, but I'm not so focused right now. Mostly I say like one heart is nice. If you kill that guy first, you always get the right pattern. The arrows, you can jump between the arrows and you get money, of course, and then you just can damage boost him. And, uh, I'm around 180, so I can just go inside here. One more time. Best strategy right now with 161 would be jumping on his. Use the iframe to jump down because jumping is faster than falling, like I already mentioned. And then just kill that guy, use that whatever he's dropping, and just go inside. And that's it. So now we come to the pyramid itself. So we fight the Sphinx. The Sphinx is actually the RNG part in this whole game. Um, the Sphinx has different answers, uh, questions with answers. Um, I think one is, for example, was my favorite hobby. Uh, what is my favorite sport? What is my favorite game? What did I have for dinner? <coughs> and the answers, the possible answers, uh, right now I can tell you is uh, it's like always a 50-50 percent. Like you have three answers, one is always wrong, two can be right, but you don't know which one. And uh, there's also no pattern, so. I already got like 20 times the same question and the same answer uh, was, was really weird. So you don't actually know. The game decides in the beginning or somewhere in the game which question it is and which answer it is. So the possible answers for which is my favorite game is Afterburner or Missile Defense. So the left or the right. It's actually mostly the left or the right. Um, I think my favorite sport, I'm not sure, I'm never reading the questions, but the answer is uh, jogging or golf, possible, uh, favorite hobby, uh, there is like uh, singing also there, possibility, and the question what you actually want to have is what is what did I have for dinner, uh, it could be chicken or no dinner, uh, yeah, my, my, my favorite sport I think was... Uh, jogging or baseball so there is one question when it's like left or in the middle and um, yeah you just um, have to figure out which one and uh, it's luck based so you can actually kill the swings by answering correctly 
or you have to fight the Sphinx, what is um, annoying because the Sphinx is always teleporting and you only can get one hit, so you're losing. Even in perfect execution, you lose 30 uh, seconds. When you would have a gauntlet, you would lose a little bit less, like 20 seconds, but you will always lose time. So what you want actually is uh, the right answer for the Sphinx. And um, like I said, 90% of uh, the time when the Sphinx is asking you what did she had for dinner, you should answer the right, but it's no dinner. And uh, in 90% you get the right, like you get directly passed. Um, definitely a question I always want to see. Um, so yeah, look for that and um, find out the, the questions again. Um, if you have any, like, you can try out the try and error with uh, say staying or whatever. But like I said, um, mostly it's like left and right, the right answers or accept. The answer um, where there is baseball in the middle, then it's left and middle, the possibilities, or um, no dinner in the right, or chicken, I think, was in the middle too. So yeah, most of the time you have to switch between left, the answer, or right, the middle is always wrong, except the one where it's baseball in the middle, then baseball can also be correct, and left can be correct, and no dinner could be right, and other one in the middle so yeah i'm always switching between left and right depends on my mood whatever i want whatever i'm feeling and uh, when i see what did i have for dinner i think uh, there's like left starts with beef steak where it's wrong then it's chicken in the middle and right is no dinner so yeah just see what first answer is coming and then decide if you are pressing left and right or if it's like jogging and baseball left or middle. Middle is just mash the button because you always start in the middle. And if you see like beefsteak in the beginning left, you always try to go to the right side so you can get no dinner. That is my recommendation for the swings and hopefully you don't have to reset as much as I did with uh, the swings because the swings is always a reset point, five minutes. Um, swings can always uh, make you reset the run if you want to have a really good time if you just want to have a decent time you can fight the Sphinx I will show you how to fight that but um, yeah Sphinx the Sphinx so I show you the level how it goes remember 180 gold you can go on the ground and here on the top you get jumping that and um, these guys you can kill actually really fast you just saw that. You need to collect that money from these guys because you want to have enough money. These guys can drop between um, 30 gold and 45 gold. When you see 14 gold, it's actually 42 gold. They just made a mistake there and uh, just climb on that. Here's nothing, by the way. Like, I think there's a shop or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a shop. So you can actually, if you want, buy another Thunderous or Fireball, but it's not necessary, it's not needed. So you don't have to go to that shop. So it's like falling down, jumping on the platform, use that one hold right. If you are passing that block, be careful to stop the movement. So you jump from here to that guy with the sword, then here, and then jump again and hit him again with the sword. Uh, in that case, you don't have to wait that he's coming down. Um, it's like I said, a very easy setup. And if you if you use the sword very early, you can hit him even when he would like hit you. So as long as you are hitting him before he hits you, uh, you can even like he could even be inside of you without getting hit from you. So this is the way, and the same way is like here. But never stop, use the right pattern and just jump out here. Super easy movement and uh, you see I have 254 gold. You have to watch for 254 or 50 gold. If not you can kill the next two snakes to get some more gold. But you want to have like I said 308 gold before entering the swings so you get 380 gold 
exactly for buying the legendary boots in the next game. So yeah, it's just very easy pattern. Use that jumping thing here. Um, hit him in the face when he comes down, and then again. So they always come at the same time. Like, uh, you can actually also wait if you want. They can drop between 30 and 45, like I said already. And then you're just here. I'll show you again. If you accidentally just fall down, well, then you have to readjust everything of yourself. Now they come down. So before he's coming down, you do it again. And um, then I make a save state to show you what you can do actually. Depends on how much is your money. So you have two ways. If you're low on money right now, you can kill these two snakes here to get more money. So you can get until 12 gold. Or what you can do is you can jump over them. You have to jump here for sure. So you get three money bags. You see, I have 310. So I can actually avoid killing that snake because that snake can also give me money between 3 and 8. So I could use a damage boost or whatever. Um, you want at least one heart and something again here because you use a damage boost here with the spikes holding left. Uh, I accidentally used uh, Thunder what I didn't want. So yeah, you just uh, look at your money, what you have in the money bags here. And if you have enough, just pass that guy, hold left, so you get the damage boost to the right. If you want to play really risky and you have more than two hearts right now, uh, what you can do is um, you can actually make a sword attack to that guy and get the hits. And then you have like 25% of a heart. But only if you have two hearts and something you should do that. But I always recommend uh, the spike section because you only use like you only lose one heart, and uh, the Sphinx is doing one heart damage. So at least you have one hit, not for free, but you have one hit before you would actually lose your potion if you would uh, use the damage boost there with um, if you have like two hearts. But mostly like you can even have only one heart. So be careful. Swings, like I said, is always a reset point if you don't get the right answer um, on a top level and on a lower level, yeah, um, just if you want to fight the Swings, I will show you how it goes. Um, I wanted to show you also if you're really low on money, uh, money setup, like um, the possibility to get more money. Um, there is a place the ground before the spike section here where you can really get like a lot of hearts a lot of money but the problem is that this guy is always shooting at you so you could collect a lot of money here as you can see but this guy is really annoying and continues shooting at you and um, you have to be really careful but if you're really low on money you can collect here more money and blocking that shots is really really difficult so he's making always two damage so I actually yeah say only if you need to uh, and like you can also kill that snake to get enough money but only if you need to collect one or two coins there and then go and then you just go here here's the swings and the swings uh, same thing like always with text box, mash the buttons so you can um, see not the question things, what is my hobby and the right answer is golf or singing. And golf is wrong right now so it was singing. So somewhere before the questions had been decided so it will be the same question and the same answer right now. And um, yeah, just use the damage boost here or collect the coins there before. Like I said, careful with the guy, he's always shooting. Smash the buttons, and if you get one of all, like always, smash the buttons in every text and um, collect the money. And you are over 380 for sure. If you have 308 gold, you will always reach 380 right now. So I would just now um, do a wrong answer 
what can happen. And um, I just then fight the Sphinx. So you can see how you fight the Sphinx. I jump always down because it's always faster. The, the jump animation is faster, like you can see when you fly right now. Like when you jump, how fast this is. Like this is super fast of the speed. Even when you go higher and flying is super slow. So if you have sections, longer sections with flying or jumping, it's always faster to lose a little bit time of jumping here up because then you are gaining time um, instead of flying all the stuff down. So yeah, I just mesh the buttons. Golf is wrong. When you're too slow, he's teleporting away as you can see. But if you're fast enough, you can hit him with your sword. And this is the fight actually. You see the amulet in the middle and the amulet in the middle shows how much more you have to hit him. And uh, yeah, now he's orange and it's a really slow fight because he's always teleporting and if you're not fast enough, you're not hitting him. And that takes minimum 30 seconds even if you play perfectly. You cannot get double hits into him because yeah, reasons. And if you get hit from him, he's making one hard damage. And then you have fought him like that. So, yeah, we are right now just knowing the answer, so we are just going. You can also fly down here. Um, be careful sometimes, especially on the Master Stream controllers, if you are holding left or right. Uh, it could be that you're uh, accidentally holding down left or down right and then you activate the magic what you don't want uh, because you actually need all the three thunders for a special reason the one for the jumping guys before uh, buying the low armor the second one for the bats because when you're falling down and hit the thunder you kill all the bats except one then you can hit them with the sword directly and jump up again this is the fastest way and the third thunder you actually need to set up the Medusa fight um, because then you can kill the small snakes what she's throwing down and kill the Medusa in the right time without any problems without any RNG so yeah jump over then or kill them depends how is your money uh, collect the three bags see if you have 308 already so you can jump over or if you have not kill the snake or if you still have not collect the money before uh, the spikes and mesh, decide for one of the two, and if you're the right answer, you just can go and uh, that's the Sphinx part. The next part is full of snakes and rats. Here's the shop um, of uh, boots. Here, I think, uh, yeah, it's just a guy who can give you some random stuff. Here is the hospital. No, it's just a shop. Here was the hospital, I remember. Yeah, here's the hospital. If you want to heal yourself, you can go here and heal yourself. But uh, speedrun, of course, you don't heal. The um, rats can actually drop a heart, so yeah. What I do is like, not damage boosting here, sorry. What I do is normally I jump over that. Whatever, use that, hit him, then buy the ones. Look at your HP, the reds are still doing one and a half hearts damage. So I always look what kind of uh, situation I have right now. If I get one hit, I get one hit. Depends always, but um, yeah, you don't want to lose your potion. Many many times uh, you can lose your potion here. Here is a boss where you get a new sword. Uh, that boss is uh, also a pattern what you can learn. It's actually not so hard. That pattern is just jumping and slashing. A little bit like the Octo pattern what you have to learn and the Devil pattern what you have to learn. Also when you have like really low HP you hear that annoying sound that is really hardcore for your mind every time. But yeah, that's how it goes. So look what the pattern is, you can actually wait here and hit that uh, 
mouse. Um, you can actually find out patterns, but uh, if you get one hit in the right direction, it's not a big deal. And this is the fast way. Wait. So, this ghost can actually uh, not only make damage to you, also kill your money away, what is not so big deal. These guys make one and a half damage and the ghost is making one hard damage. Just for your to understand and to know how this goes. So you have to watch which kind of pattern right now the rats have. And um, just if you don't want to get hit, they always have the same amount of going left and right. So if you want to be safe, you just uh, hit them, wait a second. And um, yeah, look where they are. You can actually kill that guy. You have now the legendary boots, and with the legendary boots, you can actually run faster and jump higher. And you see that this red didn't hit me before, and now this red is hitting me. So you can see that the reds have actually different, uh, like they can run long or short, and I think the game decides it before, and that makes the different patterns. So yeah, you just have to be careful that you don't get too much hits. Also, what I want to recommend, uh, what, what I want to tell is that it could be if you get hit by two enemies in the same time, or in the boss, for example, later there is a boss where you can get a body hit and or two, uh, where you can get two hits from two fireballs. Um, in this, when you get hit from two things in the same time, you get the double damage. That means if you would get hit by the snake, the small snake in this screen and the red in the same time you get three hearts damage because you got hit in the same time by two enemies from different ways so there is not like it's getting overrided that you got hit by twice so it's not the first one you can you will get actually double damage and you could lose your potion uh, like you have to activate your potion without any reason because you got hit from two things at the same time and the last boss is actually functioning the same, he's sh shooting with you uh, fire and you get normally 3 damage in the any percent route. But if you get hit from the same fireball on the many many like parts of your body difference, uh, you, can, you can get one hit it by that dragon just because of reasons. So there had been a situation I had like 7 hearts, or was it like... Yeah, I had seven hearts, five and two, and I had full hearts, and I got one hit by that dragon because I got wrongly hidden by the body and the fire at the same time and whatever. So I was completely wondering why, and um, yeah, it can happen in that game. Just to mention that. So yeah, every damage from these guys is doing one and a half damage, and. Uh, yeah, use the sword if you want to be sure, and just um, here's the ghost. This is kind of the fast way. Um, I would try to make a uh, safe state exactly in the front, so you can see that the rats uh, change their pattern right now. They have been longer or shorter. Uh, the game decides it, I think, every time directly. So I will just use here right now a save state and uh, show you the fast kill. So this is the fastest way. It is um, jump, hit the ghost, then hit the ghost again, like the flying ghost, the, the one you wanted to hit, and the falling, hitting the blue ghost. Then hit the ghost again, hit the ghost again, and hitting and falling the blue ghost, and then two times in the top, I think. Um, just watch the pattern actually. Like, um, always the same, you know. Not a big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just have to train that uh, pattern. Now you have to go here and talk with that guy. He's telling you to get to the southern island, go west and get on the cloud. And uh, you just go left here and then go on the block. 
And um, if you want to bring your HP a little bit down, you can actually take here a free um, damage boost from these guys without missing that platform. Uh, so you can get a one damage boost with one and a half hearts down if you want. What I recommend if you play really fast. And you still get that platform. Uh, you can even get that platform when you get the damage boost to the wrong side, in that case to the right. Um, you have long iframes, so you get that uh, you get that platform for sure. And what I wanted to show you, wait, what I wanted to show you also is um, that you can actually jump quicker up there. That could also happen. Well, then you just lose one heart, and that's it. What I have to mention when you fall down is um, that you go up. And then you directly go down and uh, you have to press again the text button. And then you use one damage boost to pass like three enemies uh, to directly go to the boss. This is the fastest way, using a damage boost forward and then uh, fighting that boss. Uh, but since you need that damage boost part um, from these enemies, you need at least 75% of a heart to get that damage boost. If not, you have to kill them and uh, the, the, the chance to get hit from them is really high. So I recommend to have at least higher HP right now here so you can get a damage boost because if you kill the blue knight, you get a free heart because you bought it, uh, you kill it and um, then you can get another damage without any problems. Leaving... Um, I to say, like, leaving the next round, I would say you need to be safe, you need two hearts and something. If you have less than two hearts, it could be tricky because you have to block a shot. Um, and uh, if you get hit by that shot, you lose, like, two hearts. So, worst case scenario, if, like, two hearts and something, you get hit and you can still continue without losing the run and losing the potion or getting the potion activated. Um, if you have lower hearts, uh, you just have to time yourself correctly, if not you lose the potion and that's it like it is. But you can play safer here, um, like I said, um, having a little bit more heart, don't use the damage boost against the mouses, uh, the rats when are jumping around, having enough hearts and um, the blue knight is making two hearts damage too, so if you don't do the right setup, you also lose your potion. So like you see, a lot of... Um, tricky damage boost things and uh, situations of low HP what can lose your potion, your reveal potion and uh, be careful with that. So yeah, talk with that guy and mash the button so you get out of here. You can actually wait here and here you can jump early so that thing comes quickly. Here's the damage boost part what I was mentioning in. Damage here and then we fight the knight left. Do you remember that? It's like the same pattern what we had already with the red knight. So you start with two and then you do uh, the rest to the corner. So let me just do... Let's do that fight again correctly. A little bit like the octopus fight. And now I just go into the door, talk with that guy, get the damage. You see, like I got the damage to the wrong side, but I still get that platform on the right side. I do a safe state right now here. Uh, then you just fall down, press a button, hold right, damage here. Same situation like the Red Knight. Left, 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 left. What you have to do is you have to hold left and you actually want to collect all the money here. What is the timing thing? So, yeah. Damage boost here. Go on the door. Left, left, and then follow him. Like in the moment when you hit him, follow him, and then jump when the money is spawning so you get everything and now if I'm like entering that I will have two hearts and something and that's what you're looking for at least 
if you have lower HP, uh, like I said, you have to block a shot here without, like with your shield. And uh, if you're not blocking it correctly, you are losing two hearts. So yeah, this is the way, damage boost here, go inside, the first two, three and four, with four and the, like, if you get hit here, you lose your potion for sure. Um, so the first two are like the red knight, and then just following at uh, hit number four. 3, 4, 5, 6 and then just collect all the money because we want to have all the money and it could be that you get a damage boost and you just pass him um, if you don't want to get their damage you just have to um, press up for the door really fast uh, so that bubble thing from the enemy is not hitting you from the other guy so yeah you can avoid the damage um, so you have more hearts, but if you are, like I said, if you have two hearts and something, if you have one heart and something entering uh, the door of uh, that uh, knight, like, you have just to see, like, these enemies what are just walking around with their bubblegum shot, they're doing half heart damage, and um, you just have to look for your damage, for your heart um Heart management, so you are finishing in the end with two hearts because you beat the boss, get one heart, and then you enter the door, you get another heart. And uh, if you at least have like 25% of a heart uh, coming, uh, like 75% of a heart coming out of the night fight, then you get the damage. Uh, you get the damage. If you have less, you just have to set it up correctly. You can always get an extra damage boost if you want. Um, but you can actually avoid getting hit from that third guy with a bubblegum shot by holding up quickly enough for the door so you can run to the left and then jump between the others without getting any damage. Uh, I will try to show that right now. So you can like here damage boost of course and then just hold up here and if you're doing that fast enough you can collect the money and then you just hold left and you don't get hit. But if you're not doing it correctly, like if you're not, it's a really precise thing to not get hit there. Um, just hold up as fast as possible here to go into the door. And then uh, if you don't, if you hold left right now didn't get hit and you can jump between them and you can enter the door and you don't lose any HP. If you want to lose HP actually and you just uh, didn't get the hit you can actually use a damage boost from um, these guys in the end. So like for example you, you are just somehow fast and you just opened the door and you want actually to get it but you don't get it um, to bring your HP into the right situation just let, let us continue I just want to show you that so you're holding then you can get the damage boost from that guy and then get damage boost to that uh, door and you get still the damage boost you want here just do nothing just fall down the damage boost and yeah watch your HP management and is that cornering and then just collect everything get the hit well happens and we are here in round number eight and round uh, number eight is actually the only round what is not existing in the arcade um, it is with an extra two extra bosses if you want and uh, you fight here Medusa and this is not actually in the arcade mode so yeah I will show you how this uh, part goes um, it's just uh, jumping management mostly and I also show you the how the Medusa fight is going because it's a little bit tricky and you need the thunder so don't forget to press always buttons here after getting the hard round thing. Uh, you have to jump here and block this. If not, you get hit. 
So you want to block that with your shield, like that. So you can just pass without even stopping. Look at that uh, red, if the red is like there or there. Could be that you just have to kill that red or hit that red. So there are two ways. You can block that or you can jump like exactly behind that guy. What is also tricky. Um, there are two ways to, do, to avoid damage. The easier way is like blocking the shot with the shield, what you just saw. And yeah, this guy makes one and a half damage. Watch the mouse. If you can take damage, just take the damage and go. If you don't can, if you cannot take damage because of low HP, just try to hit him. Whatever you want. You can also, like I said, jump here between this. You just saw that I jumped between the short and him. And um, yeah, they they have long pattern or short pattern. If you want to be really safe with the Medusa and you want to have an extra fight, here is an optional boss. What is recommended to 100%. And he gives you thunders, but he also makes a lot of damage. And you could lose your potion, but it's recommended by the way um, in 100%. But he gives you 9 thunders, so if you really want to beat fast Medusa, uh, fight this guy, but I don't recommend that because it's actually not worth it to fight that guy. You're not saving any any time, so just go the normal way. So you jump over that guy, then you jump between this guy and this guy, and then you jump between these two. This guy makes two heart, uh, two two hearts damage, and the blue ghost makes uh, one heart and. Uh, one and a half hearts damage. So, I mean, if you get here already the hit, you can still make it without losing your potion. Important thing is when you get hit here from this guy, for example, you have to wait in the next one if you got damage boosted to the front. Uh, sorry, if you got damage boosted to the front, you don't have to wait. If you got damage boosted to the left, let me just go here like doing that. You have to wait that he's passing you in front, so you can jump over him. A really funny part about this game is when you like get a hit in the air and pass the next screen, you are not losing your potion. So if you somehow get hit from the protector, but before landing you are passing the screen because of damage boosting to the right, you have actually zero hearts. But you are still alive. So that can happen in that screen especially. Just to mention it. So yeah, like I said, the best way is just block that. Block that uh, with your shield. Just go over and uh, jump over the red. Jump over this guy. And then jump over this guy and the next guy. And these guys make one and a half. So if you want to be sure, you can make their damage boost. So you're not getting the two hearts damage. He's just walking and running, jump and stop. And here's actually the Medusa fight. But I want to show you something in the Medusa fight, so I just try to not get hit anyway right now. So when you're fighting Medusa and you uh, like you have too much hearts, uh, you can actually use that to your advantage. When you have low hearts. Like this is the way how to do it. You can jump here or walk there, but here you have to jump. You have to stop for a second and then you jump over. You don't have to fight him. And then um, the Medusa fight is actually also a quick pattern. It's like, this is how it goes. And um, you just saw that I was... Um, using a damage boost in the end. Why? Because I had uh, two hearts and every time I hit the snake, a small snake, I lose two hearts or I bonk the Medusa, I lose two hearts. So if you are on really low HP, what can happen? Um, the pattern is the same, but for the last one just wait a little bit and then hit, so you don't get the damage boost there. Also you want to have 100 gold after that fight. So you could collect like four, uh, 
like if you are beating Medusa, you can collect until four gold bags, but you only need 100 gold. Um, and since you collect hopefully all the other gold from the blue knight, you don't have to collect so much gold here from that guy, um, from that Medusa. So it depends how much gold you collected from the blue knight, you can actually collect here less. So when you collected 80 gold from the Medusa, and you still have your potion, you just need like two gold bags to have 100, because you still have your potion. If you already lost your potion, you can collect a little bit more, so you have enough money in the end, but trust me, even if you are getting here low money, you will have in the end enough money to um, buy the potion in the end, before the last dungeon. <laughs> It's like always the same setup. Um, it is what is it? Jump and hit, then jump again. I think then you hit the small snake on the ground, and then you hit him, hit Medusa again in the air, and use the thunder. It's like um, I already made that. Like one, two, three, four, and we we use the thunder there. For the reason that uh, that one snake would actually hit us um, if we would not um, yeah if we would not uh, hit uh, that thunder in that moment we would have um, the situation that we would get hit by that snake. So that's why we actually use here right now the thunder. Because if we would not use the thunder in that special situation, that small snake would hit us. We are using the thunder that this small snake gets away. Also, the Medusa gets thrown also back to the right side and then we can finish the setup to kill the Medusa correctly. So up, down, up, thunder, up, up, up. And if you want to use the damage boost, use it. Go here to the right and then collect it. If you don't want to lose damage boost there, just wait a little bit and then hit Medusa a little bit far away and collect the money. Depends on your HP situation. So it's forward, wait, forward, wait. And I always use the damage boost situation. Collect a little bit money. Here I use a damage boost, and if I am on low HP, I just uh, take here one heart. You get one heart when you are going out of that, so you would have like two hearts right now. For the next boss situation, I recommend to have at least two and a half hearts to enter it for a safe way. If you have low HP, you have to play fast. So um, in that case, like. Um, Look what what happens if he's like if Medusa is like continuing throwing snakes. It's almost impossible to fight Medusa. So this is the best way that set up because then you can like that. Um, if you have like if you want to play safe, you can actually bring your HP down by the lava here and then just go, or you just bomb the bed and you just lose 25% of a heart. Whatever you want. You can avoid the ba the bonk uh, with the snake. You can actually use it. Whatever you want to play is like uh, you should at least have two heart, two and a half hearts in the next section, entering the next boss fight, because then you can set up the quick kill without even uh, losing the potion and having low HP. What you actually want. <laughs> So if I have like a situation like that, um, I can kill that guy if I want and just um, use here damage boost and then I have three hearts for example. Or um, I can um, use the damage boost and then kill the next one, like I do here the damage boost, kill that one. The other one actually doesn't matter. Like whatever you want to do, 
do what you want. You have like every time when you're hitting a bat, killing a bat, you get an extra heart. So if you really want to play safe, uh, you can always kill that bat or kill the next bat. Uh, get the damage boost steer forward and then you have like... And as I was mentioning, here we have now the situation with uh, 1000 points coming up. So you have to watch if you already passed 1000 points or if you still can pass 1000 points. You have to know that if you have like uh, you have to know that the boss what you're fighting next one the sword guy where you get the last sword you get three thousand points so if you have like around nine ninety seven thousand points you can even have lower HP you get an extra heart in the moment you kill him if you have already passed one thousand you pass one thousand so you have already this situation with the heart and that's it. Um, yeah, you have to see how much points you have, and then also you can decide if you get can get more damage, um, like bonking that blue ape, uh, that blue arrow throwing guy or not, um, because you get an extra heart anyway because you kill that boss. Um, but if you are like already past it or still far away. It should be nice if you have like at least two and a half hearts and if you have like this is in my eyes the best situation what you have two hearts and 75% of a heart so you can use a damage boost because the shots of that next boss what you're fighting for the sword is making actually 75% of a heart is firewalls the thing his body contact make one and a half hearts so if you you can play like safe you get a, uh, a bonk of the fireball then you are mashing fast get another hit of the fireball and then you kill him before and then you lost like um, one and a half hearts and you still have 75 percent of a heart for free uh, in that case you would uh, then if, even if you would get another hit by that fireball because you're not fast enough you would finish with 25 uh, percent of a heart and you get an extra heart because you kill that guy. So you would have enough to go on the next screen without uh, losing your potion. That's why I recommend two and a half hearts. If you have more, if you have more, it's fine. Um, like I said, fireball hits from that next guy is 75% of a heart. Body contact is one and a half. If you want to play really risky, you can make first the fireball bonk, then the body bonk, and then kill him before he's finished. Um, so you're not flickering anymore and then you get damage from the next ghost what is flying around there. So you bring your HP even more down. Yeah, whatever you want. So, let's do that again. That happens, happens, doesn't matter. Collect the money, take the key. So these guys are always spawning wherever you are right now. And a big heart from these guys can also drop, so be careful. I'm always trying to avoid these guys actually. Because um, they can also drop a big heart and a big heart. Yeah. You know, big heart is like refilling everything and since we are speedrunning we don't want that. So what I recommend is like bonking that guy, killing, killing one of these bats and entering the next one. But um, whatever you want. Next screen, text box pressing. Directly here, danger, keep out. Uh, you don't have to collect the money. Lava is making one heart damage actually. And the snakes are making one and a half heart damage. So be careful with that bonks here because health management like I already mentioned if you're like here you will get jump up here if uh, but you can also jump directly here like you can jump up hit him and then just here you have to buy actually the armor the heavy armor and now you have like the equipment what you want and you get that um, last sword in the end so 
if you have really high HP because of um, because of uh, getting the potion activated, you can actually just go by the lava and just turn around. And here's the damage boost I was mentioning. You just go behind him, and then you have two and a half hearts. What we are looking for, uh, so we can set up the fast way. If you have really like high HP because of the potion, you always run here and then just hold left. And then you just uh, bring your HP a little bit down at least. This guy makes uh, right now 25% of a hard damage. So yeah, for your HP management. Since you are on low HP here, this guy makes 1.5 hard damage. So he would kill us right now. But since we get the heavy armor then they make also less uh, damage. And if you are not making it here, you just use here the jumping thing to go up and then just buy that and go. So if you are using the sword early, you never have a problem to kill these guys. Just collect that and uh, since we have like 75% of 2 of the third heart, we can damage boost him. And now we go to the flying part and jumping part, what I will show you right now. So we are jumping here and it's a holding left and right situation. If you are landing on that, you have to jump again to get the speed again, because flying with the jumping speed is much faster than um, flying with the shield speed. Here's the boss. So, if you are doing it correctly, you hold here left, then you hold here right, you pass this section, then you hold in the middle, then you hold directly left again to pass this section, and then you hold right. And it doesn't matter if you just land here, it's okay, but you can actually land directly on that. Um, platform. I just show you right now the speed of a uh, shield. You have more possibilities to fly, yes, but you can see how slow it is according to the jumping speed. And you can get hit here also, by the way, from these guys. So you see like how fast the, the, the jumping speed is according to the shield speed. So I always recommend to learn just that pattern, like right left. And if you land on any platform, just jump up again and just continue using the speed. And then just holding here right and you can see how I just landed on it. If you fall down here, you are not getting the legendary sword. And it's a reset because you need the legendary sword to fast play. So don't get hit by that uh, ghost. And then all is fine. And here is the setup, one, two, you hit him like more, and you can see, like I had two and a half uh, hearts, and I still finished up with 25% of the heart. So you hit him twice, then you follow him, then you hit more, and then you get hit again by the body bank, bonk, or the fireball, whatever you want, and then you are finishing them off. And if you get the body bonk and you are low HP, you just um, stay, try to stay on the right side. You can also try to press right, so your shield is connecting to that fireball, and um, if you are lucky, it disappears before you get the next hit, if you cannot allow another hit. But if you are getting hit and you are losing your potion, uh, even when you get an extra heart, it's really funny. You get an extra heart, but you get the animation of the refill because it goes down and up again, what is really annoying, to be honest. So there are two ways. Like far away, get the hit from the fire fireball, and then just get another hit and collect the sword. And just go. Get the hit from this guy. You can also walk just down. I always get the hit if I want more damage. The second one is just go directly inside of him and then just mash and then hopefully passing the fireball spread and just go yeah and then your next part. But I always recommend like this. Stay away and then just and then hold again and you see like I was blocking it 
I was blocking it uh, and it disappeared before it could hit me. So that's also a possibility to uh, not get hit by that guy more than it is. So if you are really low on HP or you make like here a mistake, got the body bomb, one and a half hearts, bye bye. Potion is gone. Body bonk. So you have to be really fast in the meshing and then you can also just go down if you don't want another hit. You have to understand that the next boss, what you have, makes one and a half hearts damage but he has a setup so there is not even a big deal to fight him. Um, he has always the same setup, it's just really easy to learn and uh, like I said He's doing one and a half hearts damage, so if you have like less than that, you don't even have to bonk him. You have to avoid definitely the bonk, so you activate your potion. If you have more, you can actually make a uh, bonk before killing him. So you are um, yeah, bringing your HP down. I will try to block right now the shot so we have enough HP. That was bullshit. Let's try it again. I still got hit, as you can see, it's a little bit risky with that. It's not really easy. And if you're not fast enough with that mashing, you can always lose your potion in that fight. But if you're like really inside of him, exactly with the last hit, your iframes are stopping if you're mashing fast enough. But this is actually the hardest way. It's better always to get just the hit by the fireball and just stay, afraid, stay a little bit away. Yeah, you see like how hard it is to block this shot and not get more hits. Almost impossible. And if you're missing hits, yeah, you're done. Always the same setup, of course, it has to be. So now we have the situation that we are having two hearts and um, now I can actually show you also when you have to damage boost. So this way is like... Um, you jump here and block this, you can bonk this guy and then land normally on that block. And uh, the pattern is this one, you jump over the shot, hit him twice and then four times, one, two, three, four. And he's shooting mostly exactly after you would hit him again. So like the pattern here is like blocking that, getting the bonk and then you land on the platform. I had like the wrong, just the wrong pattern right now because I was making a safe state. So it's just two times hitting, four times. Great. So, like I said, here you're actually normally blocking that and then you're landing on that after damage boosting that guy. And he's always shooting in the beginning, you jump over and shoot twice and then four times. One, two, and if you're not making that right pattern, just uh, you get the timing when he's shooting actually. Use the second platform and just walk. And you see like one and a half hearts, I'm already dead. So yeah, you just uh, block the first arrow, then get the damage boost and land on the moving platform for sure. And then use this one here, one, two, and then three, four, five. That is not correct actually, I'm not showing right now how it is. It's like a one cycle, you have to move left actually. Kind of weird when you're like having not the right spot. So let's try it again. Hopefully, again. It's like actually not so difficult. One, two, 
and three, four, five. It's like you have to hold left and at the same time attacking him. So you would land right now on that block if it would be the right cycle if you're starting right, right directly with the right pattern. So his pattern is actually the same. It's like he's um, he's uh, shooting, then he's walking to you, and if you hit him twice, he's jumping over you if you're too close to him. Then he shoots again, and then he walks again to you. So that's what you just have to know for him, how he's working. So you land on that block for sure, if you would have the right pattern. And he's always doing the same, he's starting with a shoot and then he's uh, walking to you. But if you are close to him, he's jump over you, he's shooting again and then he's walking again. So he would have walked to me right now. But the fast way to kill him is actually hitting him twice, then he jumps over you. And then just hitting him four times by walking forward. So this is the fast way to kill him actually and then you can directly collect the key because you don't need money from this guy in any percent. If you want to have a damage boost situation with him, I just want to show that right now. Um, if you want to have a damage boost situation, you do the fast strat and then the last one you just walk him into him. Two, three, then you walk into his shot or himself and then just hit him. But you can only do that if you have more than one and a half hearts. So yeah, since I made the safe state in the wrong in the wrong position, everything is right now out of order here. So yeah, if you want to make the damage boost, you do exactly that. One, two, and then three, four, five. Run into him and then kill him. Especially when you would get an extra heart because of one of thousand points, you should do that. And then we are here in the ice palace round number 10 ice palace is actually really easy um, it's a lot of jumping and damage boosting if you have two and a half hearts I would recommend climbing on the platforms jumping on the platforms killing the enemies if you have more HP I would recommend the strat with the lava and the enemies. So there are two ways, I show you both. And uh, in the first screen of this. And then I show you also the next screens, how they are working with damage boosts and all this stuff. There's one walking guy, what you kill, what can give you an item. And depends what kind of item also, it depends how you can continue with your um, strat in the rest of the room. You can drop fireballs, what would be nice. You can drop a gauntlet, what can kill the ape and three hits instead of six. And helps also to save time later. Um, you can drop flying boots, what you can uh, use for flying over a section. Uh, he can also uh, give you some things what you don't want, like a torna tornadoes or bombs, what you actually cannot use uh, or makes no sense. And he can drop a big heart also, and a helmet. A helmet is like reducing three times uh, getting bonked uh, the damage. And um, the big heart will refill all your hearts and you definitely want to avoid that. This is the item what you mostly want to avoid from that guy. So if you see a big heart, just go out of the way and just go forward and just ignore that as quick as possible. So yeah. Let me show you that. So this is this would be my strat right now if I would play with that kind of heart. I would just jump here down and use the damage boost. And then use my iframes and then damage this guy and just go there. And um, jump between these guys and use their damage boost. Um, I want to have at least one heart and something. Like one and a half hearts would be nice. So I can use a damage boost with one enemy if I want, or I can directly jump into the lava if I want in the next screen. If you have lower HP, like two and a half, what I was saying, um, the safe way would be just jumping here on the top and kill that bat, 
Kill that bad. Kill these guys. Don't even have to collect the money. And then you are not even losing any HP. And uh, yeah, every time when you land in the, in the lava, you just get jumped out. So yeah, depends on your HP. I would always like you can actually do with uh, two and a half hearts. You can use that here, but then you are on really low HP. So whatever you want. But um, if you have like three hearts, I would always recommend that. And you can just jump between these guys and don't get damaged. Or you use the second one to get a damage boost to directly land on the platform. But yeah, it's not so much time saves, just frames. So I hold uh, right here, so I get the damage boost to the correct direction. And then I get another damage boost and jump here and just uh, go out of the screen. And you can actually use the second one to land on the platform. A damage boost, um, what brings you a little bit faster to the end. So again, if you are on low HP, just kill these enemies here. Activate your sword earlier, so you can actually kill them before you are landing on that. And jump between that. And if you have higher HP, you always can do... Like, if you bonk that guy, you bonk that guy. Happens. Damage boosting here. And if you are messing it up, of course, if you are jump into the lava, you always lose one heart, and that would be the worst part. So, it's a precise movement of these ice platforms. They are actually not slithering you, so it doesn't matter. You jump from there, and then use the damage boost in the right direction, like you hold right, so you get the left damage boost. And then, if you get hit by them, just go and use the iframes. On the next screen, it's another jumping thing, you have to be a little bit careful that you're not too fast because then you will, would bonk that, uh, that ghost. So here again the setup, what you would do if you would um, have low HP. You go and here you just wait that the ghost is on the top, also that the ghost is on the top and then just hit that guy and he can give you items. Whatever item you see, you can use for the next one. Like if you have invincibility cape, you just can go. Flying boots can help. A lot of stuff can help. Uh, let's see what he can spawn. Let's see if we get different spawns or if he's always giving right now as a thunder. But yeah, you use here like damage boosting a lot in this game, and uh, this is the fastest part to just get over everything. Here you wait until the ghost is on top, jump under it, same here, then hit him. This is a big heart. Never touch it because you get a refill. Don't have to kill that. You don't even actually need money anymore because when you are defeating the next boss, um, actually you get enough money to buy even the potion what you want. The potion costs 100 gold, um, so you don't have to think about money anymore. The cards, avoid it. What you can do is get hit by that guy here, so you get only 25% of a heart damage. If you are jumping into the lava, you get one heart completely, always one heart damage. Uh, so, depends how is your HP situation, you can use the you can use the um, damage boost in the lava, or you can use the damage boost uh, from that enemy there, that octopus. Uh, if you're really high on HP, you can actually also use your damage boost with that and then attack this guy. Flying boots, for example, I um, always recommend using here the damage boost from that guy and then just fly over here. Kind of. So yeah, always depends what kind of uh, items he's dropping. If he drops a gauntlet, use it for the enemies. And yeah, damage boosting of course, like I said. If you get hit by these guys, just go and that's it. Wait that this guy is in the top, also this guy in the top, so they don't hit you. And if you don't use it early enough, gauntlet for example. Um, I show you right now, I don't know if I get another gauntlet. So, 
I will just uh, kill that guy here in the corner. One, two, three. Normally he needs six hearts, uh, six hits. But with the gauntlet he needs three and you can kill him directly in the corner. Um, yeah. Items, like I already mentioned. If you get a helmet, uh, this guy, what you just saw, makes um, half a heart damage. Normally the ape is making one heart damage. But with a helmet it would make half a heart damage. So three more times getting half damage. This invisibility cape you just can go into the lava and just use it and jump and that's it. And it disappears exactly here. And this is the fast setup actually. So the ape is uh, just try to corner him and if he jumps away, yeah, just uh, follow him and kill him. Yes, six hits. Uh, it's not losing so much time actually. If you would uh, not corner him, a little bit difficult actually. And you saw like the damage boost to the platform, what makes one jump less necessary. And now we got the gauntlet again. So I recommend here getting hit by that guy or just jump in the lava, depends on your HP. And um, bring it on the low HP. Kill this guy with the gauntlet. Collect all the money what is spawning here. Go to the next round. We are still in the same round. And then last time, one more time. Didn't get until now the helmet. Um, so yeah. Helmet would be like um, good for the end of damage later, but we didn't get that until now. So I just go right now. You can go as fast as possible. Get the flying boots. If you're fast enough, you can get the damage boost here, and then jump over here and fly and go down. If you don't, hold, if you hold jump, you get that flying. If you're not fast enough, you just kill him here in that other corner. And that's it. If you want to have damage boost against the last boss, you can actually directly do the same strat like um, the other ape situation, if you remember. So what you can do actually, if you have like really high HP and you want to set it up, you can use the damage boost uh, against the last ape, like you already did with the other ape. It's the same pattern. Just the gauntlet. So uh, I will sh just show you right now how you would set up that. So you just run into him and then jump and then you are just cornering him. Didn't do it correctly. But you can actually you, you can actually corner him without even um, using that damage boost threat. Um, so you just have to be precise with your movement of going forward. And um, you should not have a problem. You see, like, I use always there if I can a damage boost to go up. It's only 25% of a heart. Big heart, avoid, just go. Use if you want here the lava, stay in that and just um, jump out. And then try to corner him. And that's it. And that's it for round 10. Now we come to round 11 and I want to mention one thing, for for round 11 you uh, actually want to buy the firestorm to set up the last boss, but if you somehow lost your um, potion before, you um, will not buy the firestorms because you use, you buy the potion instead of the firestorm in that shop to get a new refill potion for 100 gold. So in that case you are losing your potion. The only way to get an extra weapon for the end boss fight is buying thunder, what is uh, in the next screen, what I will show you. So like I already mentioned, um, before you are um, not going with any weapon in the last fight against um, the last dragon what you want to have something to set him up you just um, go 
buy here the thunders and there is a way where you can collect more money so you will always get 100 gold because there are three gold bags before jumping out of a section what you normally have to do by going down you can jump out because of the legendary boots and skip that part so you're just going here to the left i will show it one time buy the thunder and then you just go but actually if you didn't lose the potion what is actually what you want you are just continuing to the right what i will show you also and then uh, using another damage boost strats everywhere and then just uh, buy the firestorm and then go to the boss before going to the last labyrinth so here you use a damage boost so you can pass the spread without even thinking about it if not you would have to kill it if you lost your potion you go here to the left then buy quickly the thunder and then just use here the damage boost of that guy then you use the damage boost of the second guy and then you're out of here if you didn't lose your potion what I recommend of course you just um, jump on that guy of course for damage boost don't hold to the right actually just wait and then get here the first guy in the other direction I um, have to show it correctly if you jump over these guys you have to attack this guy because if not um, you are getting bonked so you bonk, bonk this guy and then you are bonking that guy and then you are out so you see it's like the same speed except exactly uh, except you buy the thunder so you lose a little bit of time but in the end you gain time because you can set up the last boss with thunders so again if you lost already your potion you um, yeah be careful with that red you can actually jump away you just go here to the left then buy quickly the thunder and just um, damage boost this guy in the other direction use the airframes always in the right direction and just just go but if you didn't lose the potion uh, yeah think about yourself what you want if you want to kill that mouse or if you just use a damage boost I prefer using the damage boost there damage boosting always in the correct situation like I already mentioned in the beginning when you're hitting the enemies if you're hitting them in the middle or more to the right you're getting the damage boost to the right if you're hitting them in the left or more to the left you get the damage boost backwards so you always have to try to set up yourself at least in the middle of the enemy so like I said I actually really like the damage boosting here because I don't have to think about so much about the dread if the red is there the red is there uh, you can actually jump here out and then get another damage boost, whatever. Be careful with that red. If you want to kill it, kill that red. And if in the water, I forgot to say that, when you are in the water, you can hold um, the jump button and it's like um, flying boots, like wing boots. So in every water section, in that case, in that water section, if you hold the jump button, you can fly uh, without landing on the ground like you will uh, I don't know what's it called in English but like you're having like wings on the boots and you can continue and slowly going down so in water is the same like uh, having the wing boots just wanted to mention that so yeah I use here a damage boost and uh, jump over that guy jump here down because it's faster Use the damage boost, don't hold right, because I will land then before the block. Get here the damage boost. Next section is also very easy, just get the damage boost from that guy. Don't don't think about the HP noise, it happens. Get the damage boost of that guy and jump here so you can land on that. Here is the block part where you can collect three times money and here you jump out and you are actually here. Normally, the normal way would be just going downwards and it's super long. So, since we can jump out of there because of the legendary boots, we are jumping there. I'll just show you 
how long it would take to uh, reach uh, the same screen what you just saw there. So you just use your damage boost, then you use from that ghost the damage boost by jumping late, and then you just jump into the lava here. And if you would go down, you would have to make a lot of screens passing, like a lot of screens. Some bats here, then there's this thing here, and this one, it's like the same like with the legendary. and then. You see, it's the same screen, so you would not even skip anything, you would just... It is really annoying to go downwards and then go the correct way, what is actually the game giving you. So we are just using the legendary boots and just jump out and go into the next screen and that's it. Don't forget, like, if you lost your potion by the thunder in the left, uh, if you didn't lose your potion, just go here. This guy is always making 70% of a heart kill. This guy 25 and um, yeah. If you need money, you can always collect money here. Yeah, three bags what are coming out. If we go with a shooting guy and just jump out. Now I'll show you that section, how it goes um, without stopping. I show you one time when you this one is like you lost the potion and you are buying that um, thunder so you have 87 and you lose 5 gold because you have to bomb one of the ghosts so you have then 82 and you need that at least 80, 18 gold to um, get the potion because it costs 100 so you have 82 right now so what you are doing is you are jumping on that platform, then you jump on that, look, and just go. As long as you have like 100. If you still have the potion, you can use the damage boost or kill that guy, whatever you want. If you still have the potion, you just um, go directly, damage boost. I mean, if you want to really want to be really safe, you can have the thunder and the um, firewalls, but not necessary actually. So firewalls are only costing 30 gold, so you don't have to think about that, and you're just doing a jump and jump, and that's it. And now we're here. From this point onward, the territory is part of the Great Dragon's monster castle. Anyone who values his life. Blah blah blah. So he's just warning you this is the last one. And I have to mention in the arcade, for example, you can always continue if you put a coin in, but if you are reaching the last one, that last dungeon, you cannot continue in the arcade. So if you die there, you're game over. You have to start from the beginning. In any case, even if you put coins in. Here, there's like arcade port, so they want to make the same text and say yeah and if you are passing this part uh, there is no point of return and you are having a labyrinth and with the labyrinth you also have it's like a really easy labyrinth actually you just have to follow the ways and um, I will try to show you but first to know is like uh, in the section before you you do another things like damage boosting I will show that actually right now um, so uh, let me just make a safe stay there and um, show you everything. But yeah, the most important thing is don't go without any weapon into the last dungeon. If you have fireballs, nice. If you have uh, thunder, also okay. But uh, I recommend having, of course, five fireballs because it can really set up the last boss fight and you can, instead of hitting him once or twice, you can hit him like five, five times. So yeah. I just make here a safe state. So, same thing like always, if you have a text box, just press the button and then you just go all the right direction. Hit that guy and uh, after this, here's the shop. Fireballs, I have actually 20 gold. And here just stop a little bit, so he's jumping over you and here stop behind him. This guy we already know. So this knight is actually the same situation like always. Walk to the right, hit twice, and then cornering him, and then collect the 
collect the um, key. So you hold right here, then you hit that guy and just go into the shop. That guy is like when... Um, I, I want to show you something. So if you would lose your potion before, that guy... I, I just wait until he's just making my potion gone. That guy is giving you the possibility here to buy a new potion. So if you enter this one, he's having potions. So you would have here potion, but you would not have the chance to buy any more fireballs. So like I said, if you already lost your potion, you buy here the potion back, but you have fireballs before, uh, you have thunders before. And um, here this guy, you just corner him. Well, that was not the correct way. I have to show it correctly. So again, hit that guy and continue walking. Buy quickly the firestorm. Wait a second here that he's jumping over you and then just go behind him. Not doing it correctly. <laughs> okay. Well, you can see like how tight the run is. Just buy the fireballs, let him pass by stopping a little bit and then just don't worry, you get hit anyway. And then just corner him and jump here up to get that key. In case you have that... Um... In, uh, in case you would have a uh, gauntlet in that time, you could actually kill this guy um, by hitting him three times. What is uh, hitting him in right in the top, right on the ground and then again on the top. I try to show that setup right now in the way it would look like, but I don't have the gauntlet, so I cannot really show it. So it would be like um, ground, up and up, and then he would be dead around that. Three hits and he would be dead with the gauntlet. So it's just timing thing, to be honest. So. If you don't have the gauntlet, just do it the normal way. And don't press down because then you activate actually your firestorm. If you would lose right now here the potion, well, shame on you. But you don't actually have to think about um, think about losing your potion if you do it correctly. I just do it right, not right right now. Just using always, try always to use the sword earlier than the enemy is hitting you, that's all. And always move forward, jump up here to collect it, and then just use the iframes, and that's it. And we are in the last dungeon. So, I show you once the dungeon, and then I show you the end boss fights, and then we are done with this game. So. This is actually a really easy dungeon if you just follow the rules of damage boosting. There's one where really, there's one really really um, annoying part was uh, climbing the blocks. But um, I show you the setup what is doing it easy. If you fall down there, the blocks you have to go to the left and kill the knight, the two knights again, so you spawn the platform again. So in any case you want to do a marathon run, I show you how to respawn that platform when you just fall down. So, let me show you that dungeon, every screen, if we can, as much as possible. So, jump over these snakes, very easy. Just go down, don't jump. Jump over these snakes, they're always doing the same pattern. Like they make this left-right movement and go the down way. This is the first screen, very easy. Just jump over. Don't jump here after that. You would honk the ghost. Is a left right? Left right? And left, like right left, you see that. They're always doing that movement. Second screen is the same kind of interesting thing. Honk that guy from the behind, so use the iframes for that red knight. And then just jump over these guys. And if you can, jump between these. Use the right exit, if 
you would use the left one, you would go to the wrong, wrong direction. So just follow that way what I'm showing right now because if you would use a different way, you could actually end again um, in the beginning. Like for example, if I would go right now here, I would be in a different spot. Never had been here actually. So you see like I was coming from there down. So it's a labyrinth and brings you always back to parts what you don't actually know. So just follow that way. And uh, casual runner just found out a faster way to find to go to the dragon. What we are using right now what saves like 30 seconds. And um, if you find an even faster way, just post it. Um, and uh, it will be used then for the route. So yeah, just follow that route, jump here down, or just fly down. If you would go here to the left, by the way, you would always have the same screen over and over again. So yeah, don't try something new if you if you want to find out something new. Sure, try something new, but um, I think this is already the fastest way what uh, exists. So try to follow it. Um, using damage boost, this guy is make 25% of a heart. Pass this guy, jump over. If you want to save uh, HP, you can uh, next screen uh, with the ghost. You can kill that ghost. What I do right now, or you, if you have enough HP, you just run under him and get the damage boost. Uh, whatever you want. So there's one ghost, not this one. The next one, what will definitely like would hit you? What you see right now, you would have a death damage boost. But you can actually kill that. And um, if you want to kill it, you save 25% of a heart, what could be really a lot in the end. So whatever you want, I always kill it, so I have 25% of a heart more. And um, yeah, follow the rules of damage boosting. You have one potion, don't forget that, at least as a reserve energy. And um, yeah, you have the heavy armor, but you have also the legendary boots, that's why you're moving correctly. In 100% you actually move really weird with uh, not having the legendary boots. And you have this heavy armor, so uh, completely easier with the legendary boots. So you kill this guy here. Um, let's go. We are not thinking about points or whatever. You hold here to the right, you go down again, and then you hold right again. And then you are here in that part, jump over this guy, jump over that guy after blocking that, jump over that guy, use the damage boost. And here we are at the platform with the blocks. So, in the case you would fall down, you would be here again and then if you would be in a marathon run in a, in a run of uh, playing it as a speed run it would be a reset and you actually have to kill these uh, knights i just show it one time so you have to kill these knights actually to respawn that uh, platform just i wanted to show that so now the platform is back and you can try again to climb. And here's the climb. And if you fall down again, you have to do it again and again and again until you are dying or you do it correctly. So here there are again the red uh, knights, the two one, and you get always a hit. And now. I killed both of the knights and um, there they are, the platform is there again. So now we do it correctly. I just wanted to show a backup in case you are not getting the block jump. Um, what you have to understand is that the heavy armor is uh, sliding a little bit. So instead of really holding left or right in that block section, you just have to tip, tap, tap at that section to get uh, the right position if you do it correctly. So you don't actually have to really hold left or right, I show you just uh, the setup what I'm doing actually. What is just tapping left or right 
and you will always land on the platform. So, um, it's like you are having a lot of movement with that heavy armor because it's really heavy. Um, with the legendary it's a little bit different. Um, if you have the heavy armor on, if you just tap on that part with the blocks, you should actually have no problem to uh, get that. I would just make there a safe state actually. In that moment when I reach it, so you jump over that guy, you block always the arrows, you jump on that guy. And now just making a safe state. And um, yeah, go up. And if you're not holding right, as you can see directly, if you're not holding directly the right side after reaching the next screen, you're directly falling down. So you have to hold right in the moment you jump. So you're getting that. And if you're like in the beginning of that platform and just tap a little bit left and right, you see that you're always landing on the platform, so you're not falling down. I'm just tapping a little bit. And even when I'm just, in my eyes, not even standing on them, I still stand on them. So, instead of trying to really go left and right, like really hard, and miss the jump, what you should just see, just try to stay in the middle and tap left and right. Uh, it's much easier that setup than really holding left and right and uh, miss a jump. So you will always reach the platform if you really just tap a little bit left and right instead of trying that really long jump. And the problem about this uh, system is that it can eat your jumps. So you want to jump actually out of the platform, but then you're just running down. So that is my recommendation of um, that platform situation. It's just yeah, like, normally I jump earlier, you know. So always stay in the middle. Tap a little bit left and right with the heavy armor, and um, go up. Get a rhythm and just go up until the end. So you are reaching the end. And that's it. That's the hardest part actually of that, together with the boss fight. This is the new way right now. So, before we went down, now we went up. Um, if you have thunder, you can kill everything. If you have down thunder, you can do that way to be fast enough. So you can activate actually every everything right now. These guys are dropping mostly a heart. If you're not having enough hearts, try to kill that these guys. You can actually use that shot from that guy here um, for a damage boost to pass this these guys. So whatever you want. So yeah, if you lose your potion, you use the potion. Just accept it. But this is the way how it goes. And if you would have thunder in the moment when you are entering that one. A room with a snake on the ground what I was killing activate the thunder if you want to be safe or just um, kill the snake like I did and uh, save the thunder here in that part if you want to play safe activate now the thunder or if you want to save the thunder just use that strat so you are killing the snake you are getting a bong from the ghost go on the right side and then jump on the platform again so this is the fastest way I found out until now and um, even faster would be using the thunder but then you would have one less thunder and especially if you play like this fast way what I'm doing right now if you have five fireballs the fireballs would never hit the ghost so you just have to bonk and then go because the fireballs never hit the ghost they always hit something else except the ghost so just kill the snake get the bonk and go over the platform and just leave it and just follow the way. So we are up here. Like I said, tap only. Don't hold it, just tap it. Go on the top. That's, that was found by a casual runner. I'm really happy that he found that. It's much faster. Kill that guy, bong that ghost, go to the left, right, you see, like, really easy that setup, but it's still fast enough. 
since you are not have to wait until that um, one uh, guy is coming back. So you can use actually the damage boost here to just pass these guys because the iframes are really long. Jump over these guys and we are already in the end boss room what is really cool actually. So end boss, two dragons. One who is just jumping and shooting and one is who is jumping and shooting and shooting on the ground. I show you both. So the setup is one and two and let him shoot and then three, four, five, six, seven and so on. So the and that's what I was just mentioning. If the fire gets hit you in many parts of your body, you can one hit it. Like he can directly kill you. And that is a problem of the game actually. And here's the setup. You hit him twice and then two, three and four. One, two, three and four. So you have to make a really fast jump. And if you're too close to him you get more like you can see like I got uh, three three and a half damage, like three hearts damage you get always from these. Uh, the dragons are doing three hearts damage both. Here is a quick jump important and then run away. Yeah, so again, um, important thing is like the fourth jump has to be really fast. And as you can see, my shield is also blocking, but not so much. Um, if you want to play safe in this fight, you can actually just hit him three times. So it's like one, two, three, and go away. One, two, three, and go away. This is the safe way. Really safe. And wait until he has a red one. And then just bye bye. You get an extra heart. The fastest way is four times actually. So the first two are two. And then one, two, and a quick jump and hit again. One, two, three, and a quick jump. If you don't get him, you don't get him. Use the iframes if you get hit, by the way. This guy is much harder actually. It's the same, you start with two, then you set him up in the corner. So you just saw why we are having right now um, the firestorm. Because the firestorm can set him up in the corner and then we can get more hits into him. I show you the save strat for both in the beginning. You should start like that in the beginning, like getting three hits always on that dragon, except the first two, because you have to wait. Just hit him three times and that's it. This, this is like a really safe strat, really easy, not even big beard, always run away. Red one. And here's also the safe strat would be like that, hitting him. So the safe strat would be actually always jumping over that, always jumping over and trying to hit him three times, like this one, and then trying to hit him. A really safe strat would be like running away and then jump over him. Like there is a, let's play the safest way what could be, but for if you are really scared about that fight. You just uh, do here three hits or two hits, so he's in the corner, whatever you want. Don't be too near, you have a long sword, don't forget that. And uh, just play really safe. And the second one, the same, like wait until he shoots, hit him twice. Go away, let him shoot and hit him twice and go away. If you go earlier, he hits you because he hits in the ground and in the top. So again, really safe. One and two, you have to do it. Then three times maximum and then go away. Three times, run away. Three times, 
run away. They're really safe right now, huh? If you are really scared about that fight. This is the first one. Second one, wait until he shoots. Get him twice. Run away. Wait until he shoots. Get away. Wait until he shoots. Get away. Wait until he shoots. Get him. Wait. Jump and jump. Let him shoot. Get over that. Hit him. Really easy. Not a big deal. Just a timing thing. He's always doing the same rhythm. He's never faster or slower. It's always the same rhythm. If you're too early, well, screw you. And you're dead. It's a rhythm thing. So you saw that safe way. I show you right now a little bit faster second fight. So let us think we are want to improve the second fight. Not the first fight. The first fight is even also an improvement. It's like we want to improve the second fight, okay? But it's a little bit faster but still not the pro strat what I just show you in the end. This is like so we now and now I show you a little bit faster way. Three hits. So what you're doing is you hit him, wait until he shoots, and hit him twice again. Hit him in the air, wait until he shoots, and hit him again. Hit him in the air, wait until he shoots, and then hit him again. If he's like there, you get dead. But this is like a little bit faster. So, three hits, always safe, never get hit. But you can get him 4 hits if you want. Two more hits and he's dead. Bye bye. A little bit faster. 1 and 2. Wait until he shoots. Get him in the air. And don't jump too early. Wait until he shoots. It's a timing thing. Get him in the air. Wait. 2, 3. Get him in the air. Two, three, get him in the air. Two, three, air. Two, three, air. Too early, get killed. But I hope you get a rhythm situation of that. Um, now I'll show you the pro strats. It's four times. Beginning is always two, every time. One, two, three, and a quick one. One, two, three, and a quick jump. If you get hit, get hit. One, two, three, four, and get hit. Next one. One, two, hit. That you can also do. Hit him, and then he's in the corner. If you get three hits, if you want, with mashing, it's jumping. And jumping and falling down. That's the fast way. So the fast way, how does it work? So for the first dragon, let me just um, wait here and just go on the pause minute. So for the first dragon, it's the first two are always only two. You cannot do more because reasons. So two, and he's jumping. You get him in the air. You get two more hits in the air and then like you jump, hit him twice and then you make a quick jump, hit him and run away for the first four. This is a four cycle pattern for the first green dragon. For the second dragon, it is uh, important that you have something to set him up in the corner. So the first two are always two, then he's jumping, you hit him in the air, you are shooting a thunder or a fireball in his face so he's get cornered and stays in the corner you jump over his fire pattern what he's doing then on the ground hit him in the air twice uh, once and then jump and hit him going up and going down back to the left because he's jumping up and shoot another fire store fire fire of him then you hit him again in the air, you shoot your thunder or your firestorm. Thunder is quicker, so you have to wait longer until he shoots again at you with the fire. Firestorm is slower, so you have a better timing to jump over his fire on the ground. 
hit him in the air, jump up and do two shots into him, so you get like one in the air before he's like he's we are thinking about like he's in the air and jumps to us and shoots fire and jumps to us. We get him in the air, one hit. We use a thunder or a firestorm, two hits. We jump over him, third hit, and then four, five hits. Like you get five hits in every cycle in that case, and then you can kill him really fast. And um, it's a little bit risky, but it's just learning. So it's like five hits with a setup, and that's why I said never go without if you can without any weapon into that fight because then you cannot set up him into the corner and um, you cannot hit him more than three times so I showed you the three time pattern so if you don't have any more firestorms or thunders do the three pattern what is when he comes from the top backward you hit him in the air you wait until he shoots and then you hit him twice again until he jumps up again and shoots again the fire so this is how it goes and if you have Firestorm, you can even set him up and uh, kill him super fast. If you have like um, 8 Fireballs, because you got a drop before of 3 Fireballs, uh, you can even mash 2 Fireballs into him um, and then use that um, setup what I was mentioning, like 2 Fireballs, dub up, and then jump over the fire, hit him once and then 2-3. And in that case, you can make like, um, I think you can even shoot three fireballs. Yeah, you can hit three fireballs at the same time. So you can make three, three, two. So when you are hitting him in the air, then you put three fireballs into him, jump over him, and use the pattern of hitting him. There is no iframe situation of the boss. So you can hit him as often as you are hitting him. Um, they are not wait. You don't have to wait. There is no iframes for the bosses. So you just can really mash everything into him. And if you want, you can actually also, when you see him orange and you never used any firestorm, you can just match the firestorms into him as much as possible and hope that he's getting killed. So I try it right now again to show that how it goes. So don't jump too early actually, very important. Four times. If you get hit, you get hit. Happens. Always two. Hit him in the air. Use him with a firestorm. Jump over and get three more hits. Use the firestorm, jump over that and get him at least twice in the corner. Use the firestorm. Three times. Use the firestorm, jump over. And don't be too close to him. And if you have like more than uh, five firestorms, you can actually make that. I would try to show you that. So you can see you can always hit him four times and then just run away. And you never get hit. And that's the fast pattern. And then he's dead. And now I'll show you... Like if you jump too early, never bring him to the wrong side. You see, you can, and you can hit him three times if you want. Or two. And if you don't have any more Firestorm, you just um, have to do the three pattern. So if you like eight Firestorms, I always recommend three, three, two. And the hits, of course. Make small jumps here, so you get four hits. Don't jump too high. Make quick jumps. If not, you get hit. Whatever. So, you know the pattern, of course. And now just... Um, if you jump too early, you always get hit. So you have to wait until he's really shooting to you. Wait until he shoots. Put two into him if you want. 
but I always say like one. Start with one. Set him up. Look until he's orange. Okay, so the best fight with five fireballs is actually this one I show you right now. Four hits if you can. If you have iframes, use the iframes if you can. If you got hit by him, use it. That's not, of course, not the correct way. Every boss you beat, you get a heart, don't forget that. One and then three. Yeah, it's a little tricky actually. You see like how quickly you can die. That's why you should have still your potion if you can. If not, well, bad situation. So yeah, try to get it correctly right now. I try to show the perfect fight, both. Another one. Ah, there, there's one thing I want to, to mention. So, there is actually a possibility you saw right now in that, that I can stuck, be stuck in the, in the ground. If you get stuck in the ground, you have to jump out. Normally you get hit. There is nothing you can do against it. So you could be stuck in the ground for whatever reasons. So if that happens, unlucky situation. It's a glitch, I don't know why. If you have iframes, use them. Don't be too near to him, you get bombed, you see that? Always don't jump full, make a half jump, like stop your movement to the right. Like if you jump over the firestorm of his fire, jump and then stop the movement to the right so you're not bonking him but you're still close enough that you can kill him or hit him. Let's do one perfect fight, come on. That's not perfect. So use the iframes if you just get hit. Try the best. You use one. Another time you use one. Then you use another time one. Like, I'm talking about the burst one. And then you use two in the end. And then you use almost that. But um, for that, I mean, you need to get the perfect one. So let's try to finish it with a perfect fight. So, let's see. I didn't jump. If you miss a hit, just use one fireball here. So, perfect pattern would be like one fireball every time, and then in the end two. Happens. 
so it's not easy like you see missing one hit losing everything really tight timing actually so I showed you the the slow strat the safe strat and I show you right now the pro strat the fastest way and as much more fireballs you have as much you can hit them into the second dragon like 332 I always recommend but if you have five it's this way so if you get hit you lose three hearts and you have to set yourself up again so you see like if you're too close to him you never like you lose the run for sure really really difficult to set up the fast fight Okay. So you see, if I would have hit him one more time in the cycle correctly, I would have him right now with the red one before that. Like, I would have killed him before he would shoot the last fire. To get an idea how that functions. So if you're doing it correctly, it is always like... The green dragon you saw is like four, 2, 4, 4, 4, 4, and then 2, I think, something like that. And the fast way, the blue one is like first 2, because then he's jumping, then hit him once in the air, shoot him with a firestorm, then put 3 hits into him with a sword. Do that always again until you have like two fire, firestorms, fireballs uh, remaining. Then put the two fireballs into him, jump over the fire, hit him three times, and then he would be finished with one red uh, ball, like the one last one. You can kill him, and then you just kill him when he's coming down, and he's dead, and you are done. And that is the speed run of Wonder Woman Monster Land. Any percent for 100% I will do an extra tutorial I don't know if I do it tomorrow or if I do it later depends how much time I have and how much I want um, so I hope you enjoy the tutorial for Wonder Boy in Monsterland any percent and um, good luck learning the game and if you want feel free to come in my, in my stream and I try to explain things if you have any questions, but I hope I explained every every part of the game as much as possible. Follow the way, uh, follow the damage boost if you can. Remember the heart uh, management, what I was mentioning here and there. And um, good luck getting a PB. And I hope you have fun playing that game fast as a speedrun. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope I could help a little bit with getting a better time for you if you are or if you want to run that game. Good luck! Bye bye from me.